G'day gamers, we are back with something different today, some seven days to die. Um, I have built a new world and I've, I've played this offline a little bit, this idea that I've got. I've got two ideas. One is a Doom style playthrough where I only play with a shotgun. And that's the only weapon I use. Um, start the game with a pump-action shotgun and, say, 150 rounds of ammunition and just go. Um, this is going to be a similar one, and I've done this one before, and it turned out quite well. Um, this I'm calling my Ned Kelly playthrough. So we're going to actually put in the game name as Ned Kelly. Now I've produced, hmm, I think it was, well, let's just see. Um, what was it? Old Fanubu Valley, was that in the list? I'm pretty sure it was, yes, okay. So the the game world key was Glen Rowan. Um, I'll talk more about this during the playthrough because I'm sure I'm going to get questions. But Ned Kelly was probably Australia's most famous uh, outlaw, bush ranger as we called them. Um, he's on par with like your uh, Billy the Kids and all that sort of stuff. Um, and he's famous because he wore, he, he, there was a, there was the Kelly gang, uh, there was like five or six of them, all related or mostly related, some of them related through marriage, but these guys all related. And yeah, they were, you know, they, they robbed banks and trains and all this sort of stuff. And it was probably a little bit earlier than a lot of the um, the bank robbers and you know a lot of the Wild West sort of stuff because it was, uh, I believe it was sort of just at that point where I think most of the guns they were using were percussion cap. They weren't, uh, you know, like they were using six shooters, but they were percussion cap. They weren't actual pistols. Okay, we're in a bit of desert environment here. But yeah, um, Ned Kelly and their gang, they made armor. Um, and a very iconic looking armor as well they made the made it out of um well you could say plowshares but if you know if you actually look up what a plow looks like it's not actually the share if you want to be 100 percent it's a part of the plow called the mold the mold board um is what they made the armor out of and it, basically it's just a big sheet of of metal cast iron or what have you um, the, the, the plow share, which is actually the blade, is attached to. So it's this big heavy piece of metal and it rides right behind the blade. And it, it sort of runs around in the soil and, and helps to keep the plow level and steady and all that sort of stuff. So that's the basic idea of what this part is. Um, oh, I didn't do the thing I was going to do. So um, we, as part of this... G'day con man. So as part of this playthrough, um, the only weapon I will be using is a pistol. And I'm going to start with a pistol. Uh, ammo bundle, 9mm bullet, is it? No, 9mm Ball, bullet, I'm trying to remember what the name of it is. There it is. So, starting with a couple hundred rounds of ammo and a pistol, and also going to have uh, the, the plan is eventually to get the 
highest level of metal armor that we can so that we are going to be very much like Ned Kelly. Um, not going to look exactly like him, but it is the plan to do a Ned Kelly playthrough of this and see how we go. Um, so I have no idea what this world is like because it's brand new and generated. I generated it actually about an hour ago um, just to make sure it was done in time for the stream. I didn't want to sit here and jabber on for half an hour or however long. It doesn't usually take half an hour. It usually takes about 10 minutes, at least on my computer anyway. Um, you had to Google Ned Kelly. Well, I'm gonna. I was planning on explaining Ned Kelly when there were more people here to, to see it, uh, to, to see what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, Ned Kelly was a what we call a bush ranger, um, the equivalent of um, a sort of the outlaw cowboys from the Wild West. Although, as I said, I think he was a little bit before that time. Um, Ned Kelly, I, I think the, the guns that they were using were more percussion cap rather than, than uh, cartridges. And hang on a sec, let me scrap that. Let's put that away. That can go there, that can go there for now, and that can go back there. Okay. Um, yeah, so the, the weapons were a little bit different. Um, than what you might think of as as the, the norm for you know outlaw cowboys, but it really was uh, yeah, and and nothing you know no sugar coating here. I mean there are people that do idolise Ned Kelly, but there is very little doubt that he was a criminal. You know like there are some outlaws that have been you know in the Wild West or. In various countries around the world and there is you know for some of them there is some conjecture as to whether they were really bad people or whether they were just you know victims of the system and there is no doubt that um, you know there were corrupt police around in the day with Ned Kelly and stuff like that. absolutely no doubt about it but it's also pretty clear that Ned and his brothers decided they wanted to fight the system and their idea of fighting the system wasn't, you know, protest or anything like that. It was, we're going to become bank robbers and we are going to do that. That's how we're going to get some money. Um, Ned was involved, you know, he was sent to prison multiple times over the years. I think he was only in his 30s when he died, so he wasn't particularly old it wasn't like he managed to stay alive you know for years as a bad person and in and out of jail for you know decades or anything like that none of that most of his jail sentences were pretty short uh, a few months at a time i believe and this is all just from a brief look at the wikipedia page today actually um i, I we learnt some of it growing up um as part of just general history in Australia. We learnt who Ned Kelly was and and um, and some of his exploits. Interested today, though, to find out that he actually was in a professional boxing match against somebody. So he was known for several different things. Um, but, yeah, Ned was by no means, you know, some... Uh, hero that, you know, was done over by the corrupt, well, he, he was in a way done over by a corrupt system. Basically, um, the Wikipedia page talks about, at that time in Australia, there were, and it's a strange word, we called them squatters. Um, today, a squatter is somebody who lives illegally. Um, you know, if someone has a house, for example, that is empty, and if you go and break into that house and live in there, you're a squatter. Um, technically, there is a, a situation where you can actually... I suppose there was an episode of The Simpsons like that, wasn't there? 
where someone, that's right, it was, Homer wanted to be a carny and the carnies tricked him and, and, and broke into his house and took over his house and started living in it. Well, that's called squatting. But the squatters in Australia was a system where these, uh, basically the sheep barons, I suppose, ran everything. They had control of huge tracts of land um, to raise sheep on and they had huge amounts of control of the government and, and the police and all this sort of stuff. It was a bit like some of the cattle barons in the US, I suppose. Um, and that was sort of who, even though I said he was a criminal, and he was, he, um, he being Ned Kelly, felt that he was fighting against what they called the squatterocracy, this, you know, this group of, of men who basically controlled the country, even though they weren't the government. It was just all through money and, and the owning of land and the, the, the fees that they paid people to work the land and all this sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, it was, a, it was an interesting time. He was, you know, not being treated fairly, but his idea of uh, doing something about that was not to, you know, like politically try and change anything. He was 25, was he? I thought he was in his 30s, but yeah, he didn't change anything. He, his idea of fighting the system was to go and rob and steal and stuff like that. Um, and Glen Rowan, which is the seed that I use to create this world, is the name of the, the town where he was finally caught. It was a, a tiny little, I think it was a mining town, but it was a little town on the railway tracks. And, and the plan was, was that they were going to derail a train. I think it was, it was either a police train, which had, which was transporting money or something, or it was, you know, just a normal train transporting money that had a large police presence on it. And, and so they planned to do that. Uh, they had planned several other and executed several other robberies and it was before you know in a in a time of of planning all of those robberies that they actually uh, made their famous armor the, the kelly gang um and the armor was heavy i mean it was really heavy it was like 40 kilos which is about 90 odd pounds so it was it was not light but it was very effective it it was basically a helmet that covered all of the head and rested on the shoulders and then a front and back plate that protected the body um and they usually wore an apron with it you know a thick leather apron which provided a little bit more protection um, and they usually had an oil skin coat over the top of that and the fact is, is they only really wore that armor in the final battle at glen rowan um and the battle at Glen Rowan happened because I think something went wrong with their plans to stop the train and they ended up taking hostages in the town of Glen Rowan in, the, in a pub. And once the police heard about it, the police came and surrounded the pub and a fight ensued and the Kelly gang were all wearing their armour and trying to survive. Um, and apparently... Um, Ned snuck out the back wearing his armour and hid in the grass out the back of the pub and stayed there out there all night in an, in an attempt to ambush the police when they because uh, the police had left briefly and when they were going to come back he was going to ambush them and he did do that successfully. Um, well, he did successfully ambush them, but that was where he was eventually taken down. But I think he killed a couple of police officers in that fight. Uh, the interesting thing was, was that they shot at him and shot at him and shot at him. And the, the police officers in that fight had no idea what he was because it was early in the morning. It was a misty, foggy morning. He's basically risen up out of the grass. And while the police had apparently been tipped off 
that he was making this armour, um, none of them actually ever put two and two together during that fight because um, none of them actually believed the reports that the armour was being made. They just went, oh no, that's just rubbish. No one would do that. Um, local blacksmiths were consulted and were told, no, you couldn't make armour out of plowshares. This is all just rubbish. It won't be done. It, you know, it won't happen. Um, but it did. And being superstitious... Some of the police officers thought they were being attacked by the devil. Uh, some others, having heard local Aboriginal legends, thought they were being attacked by a beast called the Bunyip, um, which is a whole other story. And, uh, yeah, it all ended up being very odd. But in, in, in the fight, eventually, one of the... Um, one of the police officers noticed that, well, they all, most of the police officers noticed that when they were shooting at him, at this figure, not knowing who it was, um, they noticed that the bullets didn't seem to be affecting it. Um, and they also noticed, damn snake. They didn't notice a damn snake. I did. Okay. I should have enough bone to make a bone to knife. Oh, I've still got to do all those other steps in the thing yet. Too busy talking. And not concentrating. But... There we go. Uh, we need to create the wooden club, so let's do that. Craft. Let's craft that and that, and then let's scrap that. And that, and that, and that, because we're not going to use any of those. Yeah, um, so apparently the police officers had, some of them had no clue what was going on and, and thought that, you know, he was the devil and stuff like that. Um... Some of them thought he... Ooh. Fire axe. Um, some of them thought he was a bunyip. Uh, things like that. Someone did actually hear his voice and and recognise that it was Ned because they knew him. They, you know... It's not, like, it's not like he was just some unknown figure. That Most of the police at that... Uh, fight had actually you know they were from the local area and they knew of Ned so it uh, it wasn't like they had no clue what was going on um, but yes they were shooting him the bullets weren't doing very much um, but one of the police officers had fallen down and or he had jumped out of the way, I believe, of a, a, a bullet shot and fallen to the ground. And as a result, he had then shot at the legs of, well, of Ned, but, you know, not being 100% sure what it was he was shooting at, he shot at the legs and noticed that they actually did damage. So he then kept firing at the legs, and that was basically what brought Ned down. Um, in the end, he had... Uh, several gunshot wounds to the arms and hands and uh, shotgun blasts to the legs, but also apparently... Yes, wait your turn, please, dear. There we go. Um, apparently when they looked at his armour, there was like multiple bullet holes or multiple bullet dents because the bullets weren't going through the armor multiple bullet uh, hits on the front and back plate of the armor and the helmet and there were little shoulder plates on the armor as well there was a couple of bullet hits on there so the armor had been effective in stopping i think almost like 10 bullet hits that would have you know 
injured or killed him. Um, so it was effective armour. Having said that, one of his brothers or or um, brothers-in-law, whichever it was, um, was actually killed in the initial siege at the this um, pub, at this inn or whatever it was, and that was by a stray bullet going in the in a gap in the armour and grazing an artery, a major artery, I think it was in his leg or something like that, and he bled out in about 20 minutes. So it wasn't, you know, 100% foolproof, but, you know, just the ability to be able to walk around in those days and not be hit um, was something that all the local police just thought, no, this is impossible. Um, and it wasn't until he was caught and and basically gave himself up because he'd been injured and uh, they then started pulling the armour off him and they recognised who it was. And then he was hung a few months later, I believe. He was taken away. And they burnt the... the uh, two more of the gang were still in the, in the building at this time. And they ended up... Um, they ordered a cannon to be brought... And in the end, they decided to set fire to the building with some of the hostages still inside. G'day, Nicholas. Rather than uh, find any other way to get these guys out. Oh, hello there. That's what I love about the pistol. I'm starting to get back into the hang of it. And being able to just double tap like that and take them out is very nice and this is a pretty pretty scummy pistol it's the lowest end of the, the range I made sure I only gave myself a level one pistol not a level six or anything like that so and the idea will be here with this playthrough is to try and survive as long as possible using just the pistol I can put a silencer on it if I find one. If I find other pistols, I can... Excuse me, I will use them. I will, you know, upgrade this pistol or whatever to make it as effective as possible. And I might even carry multiple pistols with different loads out, loadouts. You know, some with maybe arbor-piercing rounds or stuff like that. I'm not going to limit myself. Why am I doing this? Why am I hitting all that grass? I don't need fibre. Yes, I can use aloe vera, but I don't know why I'm still hitting fibre. I've got to finish doing these missions, though, because I'm getting distracted. There we go. Put that there. Normally I try and put... Where is that? I normally try and put um, this right near the uh, bedroll, but who cares at this point? Um, the idea is going to be to play with... Um, the pistol is the only weapon I use. I'm not going to use any melee weapons, anything like that. I mean, I've got the axe, but that's for breaking down walls, um, doors, etc. Um, and if I run out of ammo, I don't know. Maybe I'll use melee weapons, but the idea is to to really just just use pistols where possible eventually make my own ammo etc and um still i'm still chopping down things i don't need to chop down um and try and get as good um try and get as good uh metal armor as possible so i'm going to eventually try and get the steel armor so i'm going to be wearing full-on ned kelly gear steel armor and pistol although i do believe some of the kelly brothers used uh shotguns or rifles i do not actually recall it's been multiple over the years there's been multiple movies and things like that made about them uh, including in the early 90s i think it was we had this rather strange um 
actor. What did he call himself? It wasn't his real name. He made a movie called Young Einstein. And then he made another movie about Ned Kelly, where he was like the great, 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 great grandson of Ned Kelly. So he's done up in the Ned Kelly armor, but he's riding around on a motorcycle. Um, and he was, a, you know, he was this comedic sort of actor. Oh, it almost had his name. It was right there. Um, something serious he went by. I think I'd have to go and look it up. And I can't remember the name of the Ned Kelly movie that he did as well, but it was just a silly name. He did a movie called Young Einstein where he was this, and it's like this idea that Einstein was an Australian, not um, German. And, you know, he, he discovers how to put bubbles into beer because uh, that's important to us Australians, apparently. I'm not a big beer person myself, but... Um, Yeah, it was just this iconic Australian humour, I guess. And the idea is, is I'm going to live in this world. I'm not going to build... Oh, man, I could take over this base right here. Uh, the plan was, was to find a base and do it up. Find a building and sort of repair it and make it my base. Um, so I don't know how well that's going to go. Like, I, I could... I could clear out this thing here, and this would make a very good base. It's very secure. There's a lot of concrete and stuff like that, but that's not the sort of base that I wanted to have. I wanted to have just a regular house or building type of thing. And sure, I'm going to readily admit right now that this is very similar to what Ja Woodle's been doing at the moment in his uh, Seven Days to Die playthrough where he has taken over a town hall. Hmm bit like one of those buildings over that way. Um, he has taken over a town hall and dug up and he has also found, which I've never seen before, but he has found a, um, a car park and that's where his current um, horde base is. My horde base idea, I'm actually going to go back to some videos that I published way back when I was doing seven days to die videos and i think my idea for a horde base is going to be built into whatever building i make probably fortified on the ground level and it's literally just going to be a corridor several blocks wide probably like five or six blocks wide with two rows of iron bars well initially they'll start as wood bars um, but then then eventually they will be two rows of iron bars um, and I'll be able to put turrets down behind them um, and the way that you get into it will be via a side access um, it will be via a side access which has multiple doors in it and the idea is is that the zombies will try and come through the bars to get you because A, they can see you and B, the bars appear to the zombies anyway to have less durability than the doors in the other tunnel that they could use to get to you. So unfortunately, there's just a little bit too much work involved in turning this into my base. Um, I think I probably need something like a little, a little more formed than that. But I really wasn't looking at a big, like, skyscrapers or churches or anything like that. I was actually looking, thinking anyway, about finding just an average house. But I'm not really seeing any sort of just like normal houses anywhere. And I do recognise that I don't want to take too long. I'm going to need to find somewhere to hold up for the night soon. And I want something that isn't too big to clear out. Um, I'm going to have to... I mean, the church would be great. I could build a little thing up in the 
tower up there. It's a fairly secure location. Ah, now this house, that might have some, that might have some really good prospects. This might be workable. I don't recognize it as a POV. do have to try and be a little careful with the ammo because I need to get into some situation where I can start producing more. Right, but this any house feels better from the point of view of you know, being able to Fix it up if it's broken, and see what have we got there. There's that house there, and there's this house here. There's not a lot of difference in them, but yeah, what I want, as far as I'm sort of thinking, actually, that this house here might do better in the long run. I might have a look at all the houses around here. Really, I shouldn't just immediately say this is going to be my house um, but ultimately something with a small area downstairs like if this so this is the garage here actually that garage could work that really could work actually Just let me kill this one first. Right. Did I check the letterbox? I did. Uh, just give me, say, 20 of those, please. Thank you. little trick that I do there is that's my way of indicating that I have raided this building whether I stay here or not um, the unfilled the, the frame tells me that I have at least gone into that building if I fill that frame in it means I've cleared that building um, it just makes it so much easier than trying to remember did I do this house did I do this building um, I just chuck a frame down when I go in and I fill it in when I come out and it's simple and effective I mean sure it uses some resources but wood is you know pretty much the easiest resource in the game to find but that's my little method of making sure I know whether I've been in or not um, but what I could do here, if I upgrade all of these walls to be concrete, destroy this back door and the side door so that there is no other way into this room except for through this door here. And then I make sure Where's the other one coming from? Oh, over there. And make sure that there's good doors throughout the rest of the house leading into it. Then the most likely way they're going to go to try and get to me is through the front of the garage. Um, now it might be that I'll have to completely block up or destroy a lot of the other doors in the building um, some of these doors some of the, like this building may not be ideal when I look at it I'll have to have another look and just sort of think about it a little bit 
Oh, no more room. Okay. Scrap that. What else are we going to scrap? Ooh, I've got a book that I haven't read. That's good. Um, let's just sit here for a moment and have a look at what we've got. Um, okay, we can make some yucca juice. and We've already got yucca juice there, so let's do a bunch of that. That frees up that slot. Uh, don't need feathers, so we're going to drop those. Um, we're going to scrap that. Don't usually do quests, but I really should should try and do more of that. Um, do we know how to make the aloe cream? We do. Let's make as much of that as we can. Got some lock picks. We've got that. We've got some raw meat. We've got that. We've got that. Scrap that. Drop those. Drop that. I'm going to drop the cornmeal for now. Scrap that. Scrap that. Okay. Thought I was hearing noise, but I can't hear any now. Actually, you know what? I'm going to swap that over to there. Sorry. There, and put that there. Let's see now. We've got potatoes. Uh, so I wanted to get rid of that. Really? Another snake? Is the snake inside or outside? feel like the snake is outside. Ooh, there's an underground. Hmm, that actually counts against using this. Because I don't like building in bases like this that have underground sections. Okay, so there was floor there that was going to be destroyed. I'm not sure if there's zombies in there. What's in this chest? Let's scrap that and then I think what I'm going to do is just briefly put a whole heap of junk in here that I don't need to be carrying. I don't want to carry that. I don't think I want to carry that. That makes things a little bit easier for me to uh, to work with. Just got to remember that they're there. Oh, hello there! Oh crap! That's the floor that's breaking down. Oh, and now I'm bleeding out thanks to one hit from a zombie. Man. search all this before I end up dying.
Is that table going to fall or what? I don't recall. enough to get that ammo pile. Come on, got it. And I want that. I really feel like I should be going outside to find wherever it is that that other zombie is bashing on things and get rid of it. Yeah, let's... snakes. Now I don't hear the zombie bashing on anything. Maybe it's upstairs. Must be. Okay. You're over there. I can still... Mm, ladder there. I can still hear another body. Another... Zombie beating up on something somewhere. that, drop that, read that, scrap that, scrap those. Whoop. Have I been in here yet? Yes, I have, but I didn't search everywhere. where I keep my knives, so that makes perfect sense to me. Was there anything up here that I didn't search properly? Um, there really wasn't anything here to search. I'll be digging that out later though. Uh, what about in here? Did we... That's right, so there was... 
there's that going up that way. This, if this house didn't have the big gaping hole underneath it, it would be perfect. I would be using it. Don't even know where that went, but... Okay, that was fun, but I got another level. Let's uh, use that. We don't have our... Um, what's the name anymore? Our uh, good bandage. Hopefully we can find something in here. Where is it? Not great. Actually, we're going to put other stuff that we don't need in here. So, Hunter's Mod, I don't think we really want. Ooh, definitely want that armor. Scrap that. That is a good turret to keep. Let's put that up in there. We're not going to use that ammo for the moment. Let's put that away, that away, that away. That, that, keep that, put that away. Shotgun choke mod. We're not using shotguns. Let's scrap the iron spear. Let's put that stuff away, that away. Keep that, scrap that, keep that, keep that, put that away. Uh, put that away for now. That actually, we're not going to... I don't think we're going to need the paper. I think there's only like a handful of recipes. I can make a cigar. No, thank you. And dynamite. No. Uh, keep that on us. We might get rid of that for the moment. And let's make another... Can we make another yucca juice? Recipes. Yes, we can. There we go. that away. Let's put that in there as well for the moment. I am going to use it eventually, but just not here probably. And that can go in there as well. We don't need to carry all that around. Don't need to carry that for the moment, although I could make some junk turret ammo. Let's not carry that with us either. We're not going to use it just yet. Uh, we don't need to carry the murky water, but we'll keep the glass jars for in case we find something to fill up later. So, let's get out. Actually, that's a little bit silly, isn't it? I really should just stick that up on the wall so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, and then this one. Nilly. Okay, so we're going to scrap that, we're going to scrap that. Put those over there. We're actually going to end up scrapping all of that ammo too, because it, it gives you brass case bullet casings, which we can use to make more 762. I am going to use normal turrets, but I'm also going to use shotgun turrets if I find them, so I'm not going to scrap shotgun ammo. Um, that's right, I was going to look at putting the cooling mod into there for now. And we're thirsty, so let's have a drink of our yucca juice. 
and that solves that problem. Once the sun comes up, we will go back downstairs and got all the junk that we put in that chest downstairs and bring it up here. We're probably not going to use this as our permanent base, but I still want to use this as a temporary storage area until we decide which house we are going to permanently stay in. I'm thinking it's probably going to be one of the houses nearby. There's one across the road, for example, that looks pretty good. Um, as I said, if it wasn't for the fact that this has a great big hole underneath it, I would use this this house as my base. Um, but I just don't like the idea of having that big hole there that if something goes wrong, I'm going to end up falling into. So... So let's think, I need a wrench before too long. That's the big thing that I need. I can make, as of right now, a shovel, which will be helpful. So I probably should make that. And, no, tools. Stone shovel. Oh, I need the fiber, which I put away in here. Okay, very good. Um, da, 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 da. craft that. Put that over there. Put that down there. Right. Ultimately, I'll want to pick at some point as well. We're not going to need paper ever, so I'm not going to keep that. If I had a cook pot, I'd make a fire right now and cook up this meat. I'd make bacon and eggs, in fact. But there's not much sense in doing that at the moment. It would be really good if you could scrap forged steel back to forged iron. It doesn't really make sense logically, so I'm, I'm not surprised that you can't do it. If you aren't aware, I actually built a mod for this game. I've, I've mentioned this in other videos that I've done. I've mentioned this in streams that I've done. But I actually built a mod, which I've disabled at the moment. But I built a mod for this game that allowed you to equip a sword and shield. Because I've said this before and I will say it again. The best weapons for a zombie apocalypse are not a pistol. They are not a whopping great big two-handed axe. They are not even a shotgun. They are sword and shield, or a single-handed axe, or mace, and a shield. Because the shield, and, you know, like, plate armor as well, because that armor and a shield will protect you from zombies when they get close. And things like a sword or a single-handed axe, not a two-handed axe, single-handed axe or a mace are very good at destroying zombies' brains. The fact is, is that in reality, if you tried to maintain this pistol and make ammunition for it, it would probably last you a couple of days before it broke. Because... A, these guns no longer use simple black powder. The gunpowder that they use is a different formula. Um, it's a smokeless gunpowder, and the gunpowder that you use in, um, in this game, the gunpowder that you make from nitrate and what have you, is such that it would actually end up destroying some of the mechanisms of the guns. Uh, it just wouldn't function properly. It either wouldn't cycle the slide properly on the pistol, or the 
the smoke and everything would get into all the mechanisms, you'd have to spend so much time cleaning your weapons that it's almost not really feasible to use them. But even just, you know, even if you could make something that was a good approximation of smokeless powder or you could make a good formula of gunpowder, you know, black powder that actually worked, the amount of effort involved in making new cartridges, making new primers for those cartridges, um, and I know there are people out there, I'm sure there's YouTube videos where you can see people who make their own ammunition and they, I've seen videos of people that melt down their own brass to make new casings and all that stuff, but they don't make the primers, they buy the primers um, and all that sort of stuff. I just, I don't think it's feasible in these games to really be producing ammunition. Um, and so in the long run, relying on guns just isn't worthwhile and while this axe may be you know reasonably useful against zombies take their heads off what have you and a baseball bat the iconic american baseball bat yep it's okay for bashing in brains but in reality a weapon in one hand and a shield in the other is going to see you through a lot better because you're going to be able to keep the zombies at bay with the shield. Um, which is not as easy with a two-handed weapon. So anyway. Just here, wasting time. Actually, I should be doing a couple of housekeeping things. We are going to need... What am I missing for campfire? One stone. You're kidding me. I'm going to have to go and get more stone just to be able to make a campfire. Alright. Did I scrap those? I, did I find nails? No, maybe I didn't. Or oh, maybe I put them downstairs. I could have started making storage boxes if I had nails. got into this this rhythm when I was playing this last with the pistol whereby I don't really aim for their heads I sort of aim for their guts and generally if you hit most of the zombies in the guts they will bend forward and they would bend forward just enough so that their head would be in line and so it was a quick two tap one in the guts and then one to blow their head off um, I've got to try and get back into that rhythm. Um, but at the moment I am a little concerned because someone's trying to beat their way in here at the moment. I'm hearing what sounds like two or three zombies. As soon as sun comes up, we will go downstairs, pick up our stuff from down in the basement, bring it back up here, and then we'll go and look at these other houses nearby and see if we can see if we can find one that we like that we can use going forward to become our base. And we will repair the house as much as we need to, make some alterations to it, and then build our little killing corridor that we will use to take out the zombies. I don't know how much will get done in this stream, but I hope to get a few days in. They've gone quiet. It's a little bit disconcerting. I haven't. Re I don't really watch a lot of zombie films, so I'm going to say my favourite zombie film is Shaun of the Dead then I am a huge um, what's his name fan Nick Frost and why can't I think of his name the other guy Simon Pegg yes 
Yes. I'm a huge... And, like, and the other movie of theirs that I absolutely love is Hot Fuzz. That is... That, that movie is an absolute classic. It is great. But I, I saw a lot of stuff with them in it. I haven't seen World's End. I really must. I've been meaning to... No, I... Yes. I like Paul as well, but I still think Hot Fuzz is the best of the movies with them in. Just because it... It, it does such a good job of poking fun at the whole american cinema thing where the world is just full of people with guns by pointing out that that it's not that way in the uk and probably the rest of the world really it's it's not that way but there are still people that do have guns and and that you know there are still weird situations and stuff like that um i do know that the world's end is good i just i've never got around to seeing it so i really i really want to to see that one but that was the end of the the trilogy with those three. Well, actually, it was the trilogy by the guy who made the movies. I can't think of his name either. Um, but he directed all three, um, and he calls it his Cornetto trilogy because there are iconic scenes in all three movies, Shaun of the Dead, um, Hot Fuzz, and World's End, where the guys are all eating Cornettos, the ice cream. So, yes... Oh, it's sun up. I can go and find these zombies and kill them and what have you. I might leave that torch there for now. Where are you? Someone sounds close by. one oh wow they beat him that entire thing oh there's another one that's two tented to fall in there I think they're down the, down in the hole is where the rest of them are which is fine. Any out here? See, one of them came in through this way. None over there. Let's do a quick look to make sure there are none around the outside. I can hear one close by, but that could be under the under the bottom and down there. Yeah, none around here. Okay, let's go down into the hole. Uh, where is it? You go up here. And you go down here. see any in the water in there. I've got a funny feeling there is actually something in the water down in there. I think there's usually a um, I think there's a chest or something in there. So let's have a quick glance. I don't see anything. For some reason it won't let me go down. What's going on? Why am I not able to swim down? That's bizarre. Have I just forgotten how to do it, maybe? No. Oh, yeah. That... Okay, there's nothing down there. That's good. Okay, so the big problem now... Get out of there, come on. Big problem now is A, I'm wet, and B, I need more ammo. Oh, I'm crouched. That's why I couldn't do anything. I was crouched all that time. 
Um, hang on, I wanted to get that torch off the wall. It won't let me pick it up, so the easiest option is to do that. And that didn't work. I thought that gave you the torch. Maybe that only works with um, candles. Okay, let's get out of here. And go and dump all this stuff in the chest upstairs. Um, I needed to double check that there was nothing in here that I wanted. That's right, there was the cobblestone down here. Yeah, it's in here, isn't it? Is there anything up on that shelf there? No, there isn't. Okay, good. Okay, so let's put all of this... It's only three nails, so it's not enough for me to actually make anything with. Um, don't need to keep that on me. Keep all the rest of this. We might eat some of this. Maybe that. Scrap that. Let's make some bandages with that. Okay, we have basically raided this building. So we're going to go outside and we're going to fill in the, the block to say that we raided this. Good. So what other buildings do we have around here? This one here. Shade Tree Auto. That house there is very big. I wonder. Separate garage there with only one door. Yes, that actually might be really good. But I'm going to do this building first. So we'll do the house up here first and probably do Shade Tree Auto as well. Actually, I'm going to do Shade Tree Auto first for the one reason that I really want a wrench. And this is a, a reasonable place to expect to be able to find one. So let's... How did you survive that? Rule number one, reload more often.
Yes, we got it. The wrench. Just what I needed. Actually, normally I put... Like that, I think. Or at least that's what I'm going to do this time anyway. using way more ammo than I would like. I think you can break this down for a lot of a lot of stuff. A bit of stuff anyway. I really want to be able to break down since ooh, there's a section up there. I want to be able to get some um, some iron so that I can make repair kits. Because I'm going to need to repair that. Or well, this axe and that pistol before long. Of course there's a wrench schematic. I was going to say, of course, finding a uh, repair kit would be nice as well. Um, and it would be, but I wasn't that lucky. I was sort of hoping that as I opened up that box, I would find repair kits in there, because that's often what you get in those crates. Uh, no, I think when you break that down, it knocks a air conditioner off the back and makes a hell of a lot of noise. So let's see what's up here. Or more. Who is up here? Please be 9mm, please be 9mm. No, shotgun, okay. up there. Can I get around this side to it? Probably if I knock that. about that. A couple of pickaxes is nice. Still concerned that I need to find some iron so that I can start making repair kits. But now that I've got the wrench, I can scrap this, which will be a help. Just want to double check that there's no workbench. No, and I don't think you get... You just get scrap iron from scrapping that. That's okay. We 
looked, we did everything in here. Yes, we did. Okay. Cool. Let's go and have a look at this other house. After, oh, we need to repair that. Don't we? we need some more stone as well. We need to get some stone from somewhere. Maybe that pile over there. Okay. There is that stone there. Let's pull this car apart. I'm really overburdened now. I. Drop that. I don't actually need that just yet. Scrap that. away. Yes, there was a car here, wasn't there? Could take them apart, but I won't bother. Excuse me. Let's do this house.
Lots of oil shale around, I'll give it that. Let's go upstairs first, I guess, see what's up here. Man, I haven't been spending any of my points. Completely forgot about it. Um, so basically, because we're using pistols, we're gonna want levels of gunslinger. The problem is, is that I also want levels of heavy armor. So let's take a point in Iron Gut. I always take that. And let's take a point in Healing Factor, because that helps us to heal. I want a point in that so I can start crafting heavy armor as soon as possible. Um, and I like to get a point in Master Chef so that I can start cooking things. Searched in there. Okay, it's nothing in there. Scrap that, scrap that, drop that. I'm not going to use those, but. I think there's going to be somebody in there. see anybody in there just yet. We really need to find some more ammo or get to the point where we can start making some ammo very quickly. That was really good. We just got a cooking pot so we can start making some stuff. That's going to be pivotal. Nine mil ammo, please. Damn it. Quiet Place. No, I haven't. Is that another Simon Pegg movie? I have to admit that a lot of the most recent movie movies with him in I haven't seen because they're A, the new, the new Star Trek, and I'm really just not into the, the new Star Trek stuff. Um, I think I have seen the first of those new ones which had him in as Scotty um, and then you've got all of the um, what's the name ones the uh, what's the Mission Impossible stuff uh, hasn't he been in that as well okay no I haven't seen I haven't seen I haven't seen a recent movie in years, actually. Most of the time when a movie comes out, I end up seeing it on Netflix or something like that. I, I really, I haven't been to the movies. I haven't been to a cinema to see a movie in a few years now. I'm trying to think of what the last movie I, wa I saw that was in a cinema. Um, it feels like it's been quite a while. Uh, 
Okay. Well, I don't know anything about it, but uh, I'll have a look. See if it's my thing. Yeah, this is definitely not a house that I want to make into my base, I think. It's not quite what I'm looking for. So... We will move on. But I think first of all we'll go and drop our stuff off back at the house. Let's pick up, where is it, that stone there. And let's go into the field over here. Forgetting to get the aloe vera. Well, the thing is, is I've got to, I've got to recreate my Netflix subscription. I haven't actually watched Netflix since my wife and I separated, and I left the account with her. Um, so I've got to do that yet. And it would probably be more if I'm bored some day, because nighttime is when I stream. <laughs> um, the only time I would have to watch it would be on the day, during the day on a weekend. And even then, I'm considering streaming more. I would have streamed today, but I slept in until almost lunchtime, and then I had a couple of things to do after lunch. Um, so I did those, and then I just, you know, waited the couple of hours before I streamed and watched a couple of YouTube videos. So that's part. Of, that's the other part of the problem is I really, I just, I watch videos on YouTube. If I get really bored with all the stuff I'm watching on YouTube, I'll probably create another Netflix account then and um, consider looking into some of these. Okay, let's go and dump all of this. and raid this other house. Ooh, I need to dig those up because you can dig those up and then replant them as planters, I think. If not, you get the stuff, you get some of the stuff that you can use to create more planters and that will be good for the future. Let's see. Drop that. Drop that. I will keep that for now. Actually, I'll keep that on me. Scrap that. Scrap that. Wear that. I'm going to keep that on me because I want to, as soon as I can, I want to be making a campfire and making up some water. So let's get that water. In fact, let's get those. If I go to this other house and it looks like it's going to be good, I'll make... Um, I'll make everything I need straight away. Um, let's eat that and drink that. give us back some stamina and hopefully a little while. Let's just take that to get our health back. I know that's going to screw us as far as um, well, everything else goes to be honest. Uh, let's make the campfire and let's actually craft and let's just do one for the moment. I, I know I want more than one secure chest but we'll do that for now. We need to make another bed roll at some point too, so we might as well just do that now. Uh, bed roll, craft, and then let's grab that and take that with us. Okay. Bit more wood, never hurt. And that, and that, and those. Okay. Yeah, 
Here we go now. Oh man, there's a table saw right there. Not that I really want to use a table saw. That was a hammer too. And that's a usable table saw. Wow. Is that a usable workbench? It isn't, but it's got a workbench schematic in it. And then if we... Yeah, there is that. Um, I just don't worry about it. I just stream. If anyone wants to watch, that's fine. If not, well, you know, if it goes too long where I'm not getting anyone actually watching my streams, I'll probably stop streaming and just go back to doing YouTube videos. But for now, I'm getting enough people streaming, uh, enough people watching that... It seems like it's worthwhile. I mean, you know, it's usually between five and ten people, which, you know, it's not, it's not the uh, hundred people I would like, but, you know, it's good enough. Scrap that, scrap that. Okay, I've got enough. We've got some of those forged iron now, so we can start making repair kits. Feels like I should go and do that, but let's finish breaking down this car first. feel like it's worthwhile dumping some of this stuff back at home. I know it means going back and forth multiple times, but I'm carrying so much stuff. I really shouldn't have brought it all over. I should have just said, raid the place first and then come back with everything. But no, you had to bring half the stuff that you might need if it turns out that that's a good place for a base. Silly, silly. should do is make up these repair kits first. full of junk already okay um, we can now repair that and I feel like it's a good idea to repair oh, I can't repair that yet I'm still waiting slot. I think that is a fire station, if I remember rightly. Oh, 
quite a nice little POI. that's garbage. I actually had a mod which was getting rid of all of those things but I turned it off. Let's get that wood and let's get this out of the way as well. Feels like it's a hindrance. That's a very interesting setup there where they fall from the ceiling. Nothing there or there. Stand up properly. anything in that luggage. Where are they coming from? I expected them to come out of that cupboard there. Oh, they're coming this way. Okay, that was a good little haul there. Not the uh, ammo that I wanted, but there's a grenade. I don't really want it, but it's you know, it's not too bad.
of food in the bathroom, hey? That's a first. I suppose it's no different from the ammo in the bathroom, which seems to be a pretty common occurrence. For whatever reason. Oh. Well, that was easy. coming from. <sighs> Problem is I don't want to break too much of this house down because I want to I want to live here. Lead mine right outside. Sounds like it's still it still sounds like it's someone outside. It still sounds like there was somebody out the front beating on something. I am really overburdened. That's empty trash. Don't worry about that. What about this side of the building? Is there someone? No. They must be inside then. It's coming from upstairs. There's only one problem with that table saw being there. I can't move it and I want to strip this basement out and make it a, a death trap for the zombies. Okay, let's just put a whole heap of stuff in here that we don't need to be carrying with us. Ah, oh, we'll keep that. Actually, we don't... Yeah, we will keep that, but we don't actually need much in the way of food with us at the moment. Let's keep that... Let's put that away, put that away. Keep 
keep those. Let's just keep that on us. Put that away. We'll keep that on us. We don't need the feathers ever. Put the golden rod tea away. Okay. stuff we've got at the moment, but not too bad. Ooh, that door will be very, very nice in a little bit. Let me claim this house for our own. There was still something in the bag there was. break most of that down at some point too. But there is an upstairs here, isn't there? If I remember rightly. Where is it? I don't know, maybe there isn't. there is it does such show a small peak in the roof and there is that little bit over there uh, where was our house Ooh, why have I not noticed that there before I think that's a drive through restaurant or something let's bring the important stuff from over here, back. So that, 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 that. Um, that. What else do we want from here tonight? Um, we need to make a forge at some point. I don't think we're going to have all the parts to do it yet. Let's bring those back. Let's bring that. That. We don't want that. Let's bring that ammo. We definitely want to bring that with us. Let's bring those. That turret. Bring those. Bring that. I think I've already I've got the hammer here. I've got plenty of wood. So I could look at doing starting to do some repairs tonight even. I don't want that glass. Let's bring those with us. Not sure if we're going to need the polymer, but... And the iron. And the cement. What do we need to make a forge? main thing I need is clay and leather. Leather I can get from breaking up couches. And duct tape. Did I have duct tape in here? I used all the duct tape, didn't I? Either that or I put it in the other chest at the other place. Okay, that'll do for now. Let's get back. biggest problem is, is we don't really have a defensible space in this other building at the moment.
step one is we can close that door. I don't think there are any other doors or areas that are leading outside that are open to the world, as it were. So we're going to put that there, and we're going to use the oven at just briefly for some storage of food. that in there and we are going to make the bacon and eggs that we can now make and then we are going to make up all of that bottled water like that now where was didn't I still have my torch, I do. Good. Thought I'd left it somewhere. Uh, around. Where's the room? No, it is it is through here, the room that has all the gear in it. See if there's anything up in that crawl space up there. Um, keep that out. Keep that. Uh, yeah, that can stay there for the moment. Um, okay, so we have more duct tape. Do we have a level yet? We do. Okay, so we want to make advanced engineering so that we can make the forge. I do have multiple torches. There you go. Okay. I do think I want to make this house mine. need to do is determine a good spot and actually I think it would be right there a good spot to put the claim block to claim the entire building I mean I can always craft new claim blocks and move the one that I've got blah 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 but let's grab the claim block oh, I've still got it on me okay cool let's come back here into the kitchen question now will be, that should be lighting up everything there. What I don't know is whether that covers everything. Um, I want to make yeah I'll say I'm a big fan of SpaceX and everything that they're doing. Um, I really, really like, um, well, just everything really that they're doing. I think it's really innovative. And, you know, even though it's got really got nothing to do with me because it's American politics, 
I like how they are basically sticking it to the Americans in a lot of ways. Because I don't know if you understand all the politics behind it all, but it was actually incredibly hard for SpaceX to get all of the permissions and everything that they needed to do anything, basically. And the reason was, was because, you know, the various senators over there in the US, they get a good portion of money in their, in their budgets to cover various um, various facilities and things like that that NASA has. Uh, and also like Boeing and all of those companies. So by making sure that companies like Boeing are the ones making the rockets rather than SpaceX, a lot of those uh, politicians are in some ways lining their own pockets. So there's been, there was a lot of, it took a lot of effort for SpaceX to be able to get to the position where they were allowed to do the launch of those um, astronauts just recently. Uh, and the reason why it was so hard to get the permissions and everything was purely because various um, companies and senators lobbying to stop SpaceX because it was affecting their bottom line. And so I'm really glad that SpaceX have been able to to do what they've done. I think it's been really good. But it just it hopefully just me because all like the the biggest reasons why nothing has really happened much in the last you know 40 years. We went to the moon and then that was sort of it. And the reason it, it was like that is pretty much down to local government politics in the US. Various senators wanting to keep the money coming in and SpaceX have proved that it can be done a lot cheaper and a lot easier, but that hurts those senators. It hurts their bottom line. They get less money, less funding coming into their their state if you can prove that there are better ways to do it than than what NASA and some of the some of the contractors that NASA use are able to do. So it's very interesting. Um, and yeah, I very much support them even though I'm not American. Yeah, I saw that launch. I actually watched, um, there's a, a guy called Scott Manley who's very much into space. Um, he's a UK, well, he was, he's from the UK, but um, he, um, he lives in the US and uh, he's done a lot of videos on games like um, Kerbal Space Program. Um, he's really big in that space. Um, but he also, he, he knows a lot about rocketry and how it all works and everything. And um, he had a video just the other day, just today actually, explaining everything about um, how the rocket fairings that they've got work. They, they got some videos back from the recent uh, launches uh, of the rocket fairings as they broke away from the rocket. And yeah, it was just interesting to see that he was analyzing the the videos and pointing out a whole heap of things about the rocket fairings and how they're working and all that sort of stuff. It was really very interesting. So yes, I like his stuff and I definitely like everything that uh, SpaceX have been doing for the last few years. Right, it's actually unclear if there is a top floor to this building. It sort of feels like there should be, but at the same time, it feels like there can't be. Actually, no, don't put that there. Let's get those out. We might just have to, no, we can't do that. 
Uh, how do we do this then? Put one there, and then we put one there, and then we do that. So that falls through. I wonder if there's anything through here. Let's put a torch up there. Damn it. for sure. Okay, so there might not actually be an upper floor here, which in a way will be good, but mm, don't know. We'll see. Um, I'm trying to keep the layout of this place in my head, and sometimes I do get a just a little bit turned around. So let's store some of this extra stuff that we're not using right now, food-wise, in here. We might put medication in here. I'm going to leave the bandages on me. don't want paper, so we'll get rid of that. Ah, we want to put the grill in the f in the thing. We don't want glass either, so let's get rid of that. Okay, you've got tins of food there. We've got other food and cooking ingredients there. We've got that there. I'm actually tempted to make this my main storage room, because it's really close... To here. I could also put storage in here because ultimately that's the area I'm going to use to defend the base. I'm going to put a series of bars across the opening, probably the first two rows, and then I can put turrets back here and I can just stand there and shoot. And as long as these walls are strong enough, they will come and attack the bars rather than attacking anything else. I'm probably going to make the opening there a little bit shorter. That's a little bit wider than I really want. And then heavily reinforce that door. And then make sure that there's no... I'm going to board up every other door in this place. And really reinforce this door as well. Um and probably heavily reinforce all of these windows. I want to make it so that the only place that it is conceivable to come in is by breaking down those bars. We're breaking down the bars out here. So I probably want to get rid of that top row of... Probably get rid of all of that... Um, all of the garage, the simulation garage door there. And then make that a reinforced door. In fact, I can probably do that straight away. I've got this place claimed now. We had a door in here, didn't we? Yes, so let's upgrade. I might need... Oh, I forgot I had that wood splitter mod. Let's put that in there. Very good. Um, damn it, not enough nails to make a full box. Okay, that's food, that's food. That's medical supplies, seeds, seeds... Uh, actually, we'll keep that. We're going to... No, we'll scrap that. 
Uh, actually, no, we'll keep it because we can use that to make what's the name? Um, that. That. I'm going to need some of that to build. I might as well put those two turrets down, even though they're not actually ready yet. And we'll take those so that we can start building walls even if we don't have the concrete just yet. Let's take that. Oh, we want to try and make a forge too, don't we? I've got to decide where I'm going to put all the forges and stuff. I don't know that I really want them in my defensive area in the garage. I probably want them elsewhere. That's a level 2 axe. Why am I not using that rather than... That's 14 damage, that's 17 damage. Uh, wrong one. We want to modify that one and take that out. And then we want to modify that one and put that in. Complete that. Put that there. Actually, we'll probably scrap that one. Unlike some people, I tend to scrap things rather than sell them to the traders. I've still got to find a trader, but um, in particular, if you scrap guns and get their parts, the parts generally sell more for more than what the guns do. That's what I've found anyway. Might be different with some really high level guns, but Okay, we are super low on ammunition. That's our biggest problem at the moment. So let's see, we don't want this light here. I don't really want that. They're actually pretty useless. Getting low on food and water, am I? Um, let's go. That's right, I was going to upgrade this, wasn't I? Let's close that. Actually, I was going to upgrade this door, was what I was going to upgrade. Why is it not letting me upgrade it? Because, probably because it's locked. I've got to actually destroy it and replace it. Let's, uh, hang on. Let's go here. Let's put that away, that away. Let's use that and use that. Um, more water, spare glass jars, um, that. What else? That, that, and that can go in there. That, that, that. Keep that on me. Ah, uh, no. That can go in there. better. 
I got iron blocks, I just don't have enough. Okay. That's fine. Okay, we have a real problem now because that's another zombie and I'm running low on ammunition. Ooh, that's a little bit of a problem. We need to move that claim block just a hair forward towards the front of the house, I think. I need to work out where that window is and if there is some way to get up there. Don't think it's too much of a problem that this is not covering all of the backyard. I think I can live with that. Sounds like the zombie's trapped in Shade Tree Auto. That's what it sounds like. Don't I? Let's just make a hundred. Who? When I'm in here, the zombie sounds really close. I go out here, it sounds like he's over there in the Shade Tree Auto. Where did you come from? feels like there's something up on the roof up there. wasn't I? Okay, I said I wanted to move that, so let's... Let's see now. I 
actually only need to move it a couple of squares this way, but I think the best place to put it will be here. So let's make a new claim block. a forge yet is it here what am I missing oh the clay okay so that's gone uh, turn that on come out here yes that's much better sure we lose a little bit at the back of the house but I don't think that's a big deal. Uh, what I okay, I think this is going to be my construction room. I can put a I can put a forge. I can put a workbench in there. I can put a forge or two there. I don't, I'd have to break apart some of this stuff if I wanted to put a chemistry bench in, but that's a perfect place for a chemistry bench there. So I think I'm going to put a forge there, workbench there, chemistry bench there. For right now, I'm going to put, where is it, that there. It's not a good place. I don't really like putting things in these storage chests. They're actually a little bit of a pain. But, I do have stuff that I need to put away. So, I need to put that away. Um, I need to put that away. That's not good, that that needs to be repaired. Ah, look, someone's been beaten at the front of the house here. So that's why I need to repair all of this. I need to make sure that this is all as built up and repaired as possible. I think what I may end up doing is building a wall out from here and matching it up with that outside wall there and put a brand new door here. The idea being, oh no, I'll do it that way. Yes, that's the way to do it. When I've built these layouts before, I've had an opening and you come into the opening and then there is a door in the wall which goes around where the, um, where the bars are going to be. So let's just, just uh, think about this for a sec. So I can actually move these turrets back even further if I want to. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's just do it three high for the moment. If I if I did that. I'm going to have to break this down. No, I think I need to move it forward one more. It's just a little bit cramped. OK, 
Okay, so if I build up those sections of wall there and there. If I put a door right here, and then I build out this wall over this way, all the way over to here, and all the way over to there, it means I've got to break down this door that I just created because it's not going to be used anymore. The door that you go through here leads to just a tiny little corridor that then punches through back here behind the wall. So right here. So there's another door there and there's a door there with a little corridor behind it. So the idea is, is that the zombies have to come in through this opening here just to be able to get to us. All right. And their options are bash through a door there, go down a corridor, and you put a third door in the middle of it, and then another door there. So there's three doors there they have to bash through, or they come through iron bars, or start with wooden bars and upgrade them to iron later. And you have like two or three high worth of iron bars there. I can stand back here and shoot them. I've got turrets. I can put shotgun and I can put shotgun turrets down as well. Um, keep the walls as reinforced as possible, and even I can make them too thick, so two blocks thick around the sides, just to make sure that they're super strong. If I want to do that. Um, and that will ensure that they only come in this way. And then I can just stand here and shoot them. And they, and they, they have to get through the bars to get to me. The only problem with that layout is demolishers. That's it. And my thing with demolishers that I can start doing then is out here I can start to build like a pathway that they have to go through with other traps and dart traps and stuff like that and blow the demolishers up out here so that hopefully they don't cause problems in there but hopefully demolishers will be a little way away so i think that's what i'm going to aim for with this build right now i need to find some more ammo um, and I need to get some clay soil too. Now I said, how much stuff am I carrying? I want to get rid of most of this stuff that I'm not using. So let's see, uh, that, 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 that's junk, that, keep those on me, keep that on me. Actually, I don't really need that for now. Keep those on me, keep that, keep those, don't need that, don't really need that hammer I can come back to later, that I can come back to later if I need it. Um, I don't really want to be carrying the torch around all the time, but we'll keep it for now. Rotting flesh we'll put away somewhere else. Duct tape we'll put there. Um, so the rotting flesh we'll keep in here. we'll just chuck that in there for the moment. Okay, so. That's right, clay. Okay. We've got this garden over here.
So that's 90 clay. Am I getting clay when I dig this up, or is it just... It is clay and sand. That's good. We might dig a bit of this out as well. Although the other option is the cheaty option. Although you might need a better shovel for the cheaty option. So I might have to come back to that. Actually even looked at the map yet to see how far away is that the that is okay that's actually the trader there I think Oh, we couldn't be that lucky, could we? If the tra if that isn't the trader right there, it's the other side of that building is where the trader is. Okay. Um, where did I put? I must have left it around here. see if there's anything else that's obviously going to give me uh, where did I put all the other leather that, that, that that, I'm actually going to take most of this, let's just take it all uh, no, ah uh, sort there wasn't anything in there and there wasn't anything in there or in there okay I don't know if that bedroll is technically inside the um, the land claim anymore. Should be. Um, any of that need to go in there? You do. Uh, don't think anything else does. that in there, keep that, So, if I want to build a forge, what did I need again? I need... Stone, I've got enough. Clay, I've got enough. I need more leather. I need three duct tape and three short iron pipe. We've got the duct tape. We've got the short iron pipe. I thought I had more leather somewhere. Did I not... Bring it back? Anything in here we want to break down? No? Okay. That's cloth, that's not leather. That's a pain in the butt. And that 
one's cloth, not leather. I was positive I've got more leather from another sofa somewhere. There's the rest of the leather. How much of this stuff can I fit? Some, not all. Paper and broken glass, that's all right. I don't want paper and broken glass. Think of it, forge craft. If we had more duct tape, we could make another one, but I generally don't go with multiple forges. I generally just stick to the one. Don't know why. Well, I do know why. I just don't see the use in going with multiple, really. Elsewhere and that away elsewhere. Was there anything else in here that I need to put away in the other location? Maybe the fat? I can make some candles with that. I probably should. question is what do I need to make the workbench I need 25 forged iron mechanical parts a wrench a claw hammer and some wood unfortunately I don't have a spare wrench or a spare hammer really but and I don't have quite enough forged iron going to need that, that, that 
needs to go elsewhere. We're going to need we can make some out um, no. Got gunpowder that. Do we have any bullet tips yet? I don't think we do. We can scrap that ammo. Keep that. I wonder what we get if we scrap grenades. What do we get if we scrap a double barrel shotgun as well? We don't need that anymore. Oh, and I needed that. So, let's put a chunk of that and that in there. Also going to want, we'll do say half of that, half of that, all of that, all of that, all of that. I said I wanted to scrap that. I didn't get to see what that was doing. That didn't give me shotgun parts, so I'm going to assume that just gave me iron, maybe. Didn't give me gunpowder. What do I get if I scrap? I can't scrap that. Okay. So that'll go back in there. Let's really quickly put that in there. And we will put that and that in there. all of that down, don't I? Should probably break all of that down too, really. But it's not urgent. But I do it. Let's break all of this down. Didn't do much. Mm, little wandering horde. I probably need to let the turrets do as much of this as possible because I'm running low on ammo. Oh, 
You were out of ammo. Some more drink, uh, some more food. I mean, uh, let's use this stuff up. So That's enough of that. Let's take that out of there for now. Let's put that in. Let's take that out and put that in. Okay, bullet tips are going to be our problem to begin with, I think. And probably coal, to be honest. So, what I need right now was to make that workbench. And unfortunately, that used up my wrench and my claw hammer, but I can make a wrench. I've got the recipe for it. So that's not going to be too bad. Let's put that away. Oh, I was going to scrap that, wasn't I? Let's do that now. Um, I was going to put that in the cupboard. Oh, I did get shotgun parts from scrapping the double barrel. That's good. Because they will sell reasonably well. Oh no, I was going to make candles with the... Where is it? Candles, there we go. While I'm waiting for that crafting, let's head over here because no, this is the, this is the, oh man, we are so lucky we got the trading right here. Where's his front door? Talk about lucky. I don't have any of my stuff that I want to sell yet though. Trader Joel's. Nothing in there, I can't pick that up. Okay, let's go back home and get some stuff to sell. 
I mean, how lucky is that to be that close to the trader? Scrap that, and we. Sc okay, we're still working on stuff, so we can't scrap that. We got some more lead to put in here, so let's do that. And help. Let's just put that in exactly as it is. Let's put that in as well. We might as well do that. We got some food over here. That goes in there, that's garbage, and that goes in there. And then we've got polymer over here, which I don't think we'll need just yet, but we'll keep it anyway. We don't need that right now. Bandages, put there, keep the iron on us. So what are we going to sell? We're going to sell that, 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 that. We're going to keep the steel armor parts, we're going to sell that. I feel like we can afford to sell a couple of engines at the moment because we don't actually need them just yet. I'm going to sell that and I'm going to sell the military armor parts and those. The choke, that, the money, the bites, toolkit and the hunter mod. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. We will keep the rest. So, let's do this uh, this way. Actually, I'm just going to pop in here, check out what's in that trash, nothing. Um, I can never remember what's usually up here, whether you've got to dive into the water to get it or what the deal is. Well, hello there. There's a ladder here. is anything to get from that. Let's uh, just make our way out and around to the trader. We're going to go all the way around the other side of him, around this way, just to see if there's anything else interesting outside. I don't know that I've actually seen this trader compound before. I might have, but only once. in the day, but we'll be right. Lead over there. Okay. So, I don't... I think this building's just like... full of junk, isn't it? can't pick that up, but you can search a lot of this stuff. Who knows, you might be lucky and get another wrench. Number of times I've found wrenches in cupboards. That's good. That's very good. Put that there. We already have that recipe. Scrap that. Read that. Got a whole bunch of those missions to do now. Let's head upstairs. I don't know why I got the 
gun out at the moment. There's not going to be any zombies up here. it so let's head out cement mixer with some cement in it okay would have been nice if it had the plans for a cement mixer and oh that's a that's a ready to use which is good because I don't have one of those yet and I do want to make up some gunpowder I want to get some more coal first of course but I want to make up some gunpowder and I could come over here and do it considering it is so damn close Are, but okay. Um, I don't think I want to interact with those vending machines at the moment. What's around this way? Another door with nothing in it. Nothing in that. functional workbench. I've just made my own though, but that's okay. G'day Ghostface. Playing something a bit different tonight. safe if I'm lucky. You don't know seven days to die? Wow. It's an iconic zombie survival game. Um, please get into this safe. Can I get that bookshelf? I cannot. We'll talk to the trader. So we'll sell that. That. Um. Yeah, I know, it's a little bit weird like that, that you can lockpick from that distance, but, you know. He doesn't want to buy the cowboy hat. Okay. And we'll sell that too, although that might have been a mistake, but we'll see. Let's see what he's got. Scope mod, ooh, helmet light mod. That, that is worth buying, I think. If we get nothing else today, that is probably the most, the best thing. Or well, we could have got a mining helmet, actually, but anyway. A bellows would be nice, but I can't afford it now. Gunpowder, can I buy? Yeah, that's a lot of my money, but and bullet tips, there we go, I don't have much left now, but that's okay. Oh, generator bank, it would have been nice to have.
Thanks for shopping here. Come again. Oh, gee, it's getting light. I didn't realize it was this light. Uh, oh, joy. How's this one? Just to let you folks know, the Trader Joe's is closing soon. that now we can put down our workbench right there very nice I need more light in here so where's our candles gone can I fit a candle up say there and another one up there and then we'll put one up above the door no, actually I actually want it up higher than that won't let me do it why not okay put it there then and then I think here we need one up there. And that's all we've got for the moment. That's okay. Close that for now. Now, what I really need here... You and you can go in there. I need... Bullet tips... you can go in there um, so I need you to craft all the bullet tips you can all of the bullet casings that you can and then between that and that actually I probably don't need the nitrate and that at the moment because I'm going to have more gunpowder than I'm going to be able to make bullets for so that's good let's put the money in here for the moment I've got some food I've got to chuck over here I need more light in here now um, actually what we'll do is we're not really going to be coming into this back room all that often I don't think so we'll pick that up off the wall for now. Even though this is a good storage chest, we're probably not going to use it anymore. We probably don't even really use the bedroll back here. We might even block off some of that later. Uh, but we need more light in here, so... We sort of feel up there is probably our best bet for the moment. It's not perfect, but... It'll do. Let's put that there, actually. Um, tins of food there. That there. Those there. What do I have on of the way of helmet at the moment? Yeah, it's base building, surviving, and looting. So it is. It is crafting. Um, you. The, the zombies get more active during the night, so after 10 p.m., and it's, you know, 10.46 at the moment, the zombies go from their normal ambling walk to sprinting, basically. Um, so if there is a zombie out here at the moment that sees me, it'll just come charging at me. Um... I, uh, I did something a little bit different when I started this playthrough. I, you normally start with nothing, absolutely nothing. Um, and so you have to, you know, the axe that you can see in position one, I made that stone axe. Um, the, uh, this stone shovel I made. Actually, you do start with a torch and a bandage and a couple of other little things, but you don't start with anything significant in the way of weapons. But I gave myself a pistol and 200 rounds of ammo um, as a way of starting the game. And, and you have to do a bit of a cheat to do that. There are commands that you can do through this interface that allow you to do that. I did that because I want to play a run-through which I'm calling Ned Kelly. 
and you probably don't know, but Ned Kelly is an Australian bush ranger. So a bush ranger, um, you know, is a, I don't know what else you'd call them, um, you know, like a outlaw cowboy from the Wild West um, or a highwayman from Europe, you know, England and Europe, someone who would, during the 1800s, went around, yeah, there was... There's been a movie about him. There's been lots of movies about him, actually. There was one which had um, Mick Jagger in it. Um, and that was done in the 70s. Um, there was also then a comedy movie done in the 90s by a guy called Yahoo Serious, an Australian actor. Uh, well, comedian sort of actor guy. Um, a very weird guy. And he did like this thing where he was the great, 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 great grandson of Ned Kelly and he's trying to revive the Kelly gang and he builds himself the armor and he's riding around on a motorcycle and it's just stupid. And I didn't really like the movie at all, but yeah, there's been a lot of movies, a lot of uh, things about him because he was Australia's last bush ranger and he's our most well-known one. And the reason he's known... Oh, yes, okay, yeah, there was that more recent one. Yes, I forgot about that. Um, The reason Ned Kelly is so well-known, of course, is because of uh, what he did, whereby he wore armour that he made. Well, his it wasn't just him, it was the Kelly gang. And he wore armour that was made from uh, part of a plough. And so what I'm doing is I'm... The only offensive weapon I'm going to be using is the pistol. Now, there are lots of weapons in the game. There are shotguns, there are AK-47s, there are, you know... There's lots of different weapons, and there's lots of melee weapons. Technically, this axe is a good melee weapon. Um, This knife is a pretty pathetic melee weapon, but it is still a weapon. Um, But I'm only going to be using the pistol. And after the initial 200 rounds that I created of ammunition for the pistol, the rest of it, um, I'm going to have to make or find myself. Yeah, the bulletproof armour that he made, uh, that Ned Kelly made. So I'm going to try and make armour in this game, uh, which you can do. And I'm going to wear the heaviest armour that I can find, and I'm just going to use the pistol, and that's going to be it. That's going to be my playthrough style. Um, So at the moment, I'm extremely low. I have four more rounds of ammunition. So I'm going to be able to make another hundred. The other playthrough that I'm considering doing at another point is doing a Doom playthrough where I start with a pump-action shotgun and 150 rounds of shotgun ammo and go from there. Yes, the zombies do get stronger um, and they get faster. What happens is it's called seven days to die because every seven days there is what's called a blood moon horde. So when night falls on the seventh day, there will be a horde of zombies that come. And this is going to be my little defense point here. I'm going to put up, uh, I'm going to finish building these walls and I'm going to put two rows of bars here. And I've got these two little turrets that I found. I looted these. And I'm going to make sure I've got enough ammo for them. And we are just going to stand here. And all the zombies are going to come charging through this opening, hopefully. And we are going to shoot at them until we survive the night. And as you go on, the hordes get stronger and stronger every seven days. Now, you can actually reconfigure that if you want. In the setup of the game, you can change how often the hordes come. There's actually a YouTuber who did a playthrough where he set the horde to come every night. So instead of every seven days, it was just every day there was another horde. I don't know how how well he went with that playthrough. I didn't actually watch all of it. But yeah, there are missions and stuff as well that you can do. You can get... There was a trader just over that... That building that you can just see just there is what's called a trader. And you can go and sell stuff that you don't want to the trader, and you can buy stuff from there as well. The traders can also give you missions. 
Um, but on top of that, there are also these little um, bits of paper that you can pick up um, that have other quests on them as well. So I've got these uh, few quests that I've found here. So 600 meters away, there is a rally point that I have to head to. And when I get there, I have to kill some male zombies. There's a nurse, a whole bunch of nurses at this point, And there's um, footballers at this point. And then I've got to go here and kill... I've got, I've got to... Well, not go anywhere. This is just randomly in the world. If I can kill one rabbit, one boar, one bear, one stag and one chicken, then they'll give me this stuff. And you go back to the traders to pick up some of those... Um, some of those things as well. Um, so right now, I need that ammo. The other thing that I need to make at the moment... I need to work out what I need to do to make it is I need to make... A hammer and a wrench. Now I know I can make a wrench. I've got the, I've had the uh, thing for that. So I need 12 forged iron, four mechanical parts, and two duct tape. I don't know if I've got the duct tape to do that at the moment. No, I don't. Damn it. Because wrenches are used to pull apart other things and hammers are used to quickly build i can build with this stone axe that i've got so for example that's some wet concrete that i've got there and i can then build those into concrete blocks and i'm just going to build a little oh that's all the concrete i've got it uses 20 concrete for each one of those. But I'm going to basically build a bit more of a wall up here. So the idea is um, you can sort of... It's not really cheesing the game or anything, but there are certain patterns that the zombies follow, and they always try and take... Yeah, I, I wanted to do something a little bit different um, today. I don't know how, how often I'll do Seven Days to Die, but yeah. So... I wanted to, um, there are certain patterns that the zombies will do when they try and get to you. They normally will try and take the easiest path to you. And they seem to sort of know how much effort it takes to break down walls and things like that. So if the walls between you and them are stronger, they will try and go around those walls and find an easier way to get to you. And that's what I'm doing with this layout of this garage that I'm modifying. I'm actually going to build up this wall and make it twice as thick as it currently is. That's one of the things that I'm going to do. Although maybe not for the first horde, it depends. Um, but yeah, I'll probably make this wall twice as thick. And maybe not for the first mission, for the first horde. But I've actually built a base similar to this before. And the reason I've poked this hole here is what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a door there and another door here. And then I'm going to put a wall outside it. Um to block it off so that there's just a little secret corridor in there. If I make that wall strong enough, the zombies won't try and beat down that wall. They will come through this opening here. So if that wall and that wall are strong, what I'll be able to do is to come into my base. I'll go in this entryway here, and then I'll go through that door, down the little corridor, and come out another door just here probably actually just here right that'll be my way into the base but the zombies won't bother trying to attack that door because they will see me standing here there'll be bars wooden bars which i actually should make right now uh, i want the centered wooden bars yes how many blocks do i need to make so we've got one two three four five one two three four Five. Okay, so one, two, three, four, 
let's just fill up these for a little bit and then yeah, let's make some more of those frames let's make another how much wood have I got? Plenty. Let's make 50. Okay, so I can upgrade those later. If I now make, what did I say, five, I need to make 20 centered bars. So if I now put these down here like this, and actually let's make sure I get these ones down as well. So, the zombies cannot get to me, but they can see me. I have to basically fix these blocks up, make them complete. Right. But they won't be able to get to me. They'll be able to see me, but they'll have to come through the bars. So they will start attacking those bars but my turrets, and of course me with my guns, my pistol, will be back here shooting at them. And the idea is that hopefully I can kill them before they destroy too many of the bars. I'll have to put more lights out the front there so I can see what's going on, but that's not a big deal. I can, I can handle that. I'll get some more stuff for that tomorrow. Um, and that turret's probably actually going to end up going like there, like that, and that turret's probably really going to be like that. And then I can stand here with my gun and pew pew shoot them all as they come in. And between these turrets, these turrets only work one at a time. Um, and yes, I said I was going to build up this wall here, wasn't I? So let's start doing that as well. I only really need to do it three high. Eventually I'll do it all the way up and I'll clean all, clean all that up. Um, I'm not going to bother doing this wall any bigger. As for right now though, because I've built all of this now, the only way for me to get in and out of this building is to go out through the actual front door, which I will eventually be getting rid of. So there's a door just... Oh god, I left that open. That's not good. There's a door there, which I should not have left open because zombies could have gotten in the house. And there's the chimes to tell me that it's morning. Okay. Eventually I can upgrade all of these. Actually, I might pick up some of those blocks there because I can't actually fill them in with concrete at the moment. So it's better if I replace them with wood. Right. Very good. Let's go around to the front. Uh, how are you doing? Really need to... S oh, why am I doing that? Damn it, I don't want to do that. That was almost a disaster. Um, I need more lead is what I need. There's the rest of my ammo. So I've got a little bit of ammo now. Not a huge amount. Actually, we might turn that off for now. It's just wasting wood. Okay. So front door here but eventually 
I'm not going to use this anymore because what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this wall here out here and then bring it over here to meet up with this wall and so once that's been done there'll be another wall along here and there'll be just this tiny little one space corridor here which will then have another door here that I can go through and that will allow me to come into my base by going through that door and then coming out through the other door in the wall just over there and that's how I will get into the base the zombies won't bother trying to follow that path because they'll get to here and they'll say see me and they will just try and attack um, and so I will then be able to kill them that is the plan Stan Eventually, we're going to upgrade all of these blocks to something better than wood. You can go to reinforced wood, which I will do probably today. Um, a day in the game lasts for an hour. So I will hope within the next hour to have this upgraded a little bit. But ultimately, the best upgrade is to go... You go from wood to reinforced wood to cobblestone... Yeah, and then from there you can upgrade cobblestone to cement and then you can go to reinforced concrete from there. I've got to take that line of what is, because that's supposed to be the garage door there. There was actually another line of it here. I've already knocked all that down, but I'm probably going to knock both of those down eventually, but it's not urgent that it gets done right now. So that's actually the start of my defences. They're not going to get through that hole up there because they can't climb or jump or anything. They can jump a little bit, but they can't jump that high. So I'm, I will block that in eventually, but it's not urgent for right now. Um, I think, though, I should take this tree down. Oh, there's a zombie over there. Behind the tree to the right, walking towards me, one of the women. Is there anybody else coming? No. I might just break this because I am going to need stone upgrade these walls at some point. I've got a little bit of cobblestone which I can make from stone but I'll grab this while I can because I haven't found a lot of cobblestone in buildings yet. I need cement at some point too. But this will be a good start. The big problem at the moment is I just do not have enough ammunition. Um, wow, I'm getting hot now. Okay. Uh, there was lead somewhere around here, wasn't there? I remember seeing it. Because... Actually, I haven't even really been in the backyard here yet either. I've got to do that at some point. Where was the lead? Maybe it was at one of the other buildings close by. There it is. That's what I wanted. More bullet tips.
there is actually more down there. You can keep going down right there and you can dig and dig and dig and you'll find a whole heap of stuff down there eventually. Um, no, I don't want to break that down. What I think I want to do... Oh, i got to... i got to fill that window in. windows I need to fill in urgently maybe that one up there but I've got to find it first it's uh, not going to be an easy one to just do oops didn't mean to do that um, oh that's good I picked up more glue didn't I I need, I need a hammer. That is what I need. I might need to go and do some more raiding and see if I can find another hammer somewhere because it's going to be very slow going, repairing everything. Now, I think... I think if I break down that there, that layer, that gets me into the backyard. I don't really expect there to be anything super great in the backyard. And in fact, what I'm going to do is break these two down and then replace them with blocks. And fill them in properly. Anything in the grill? No, I can scrap those chairs. What's in the trash can? Pick lock picks. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. In the trash pile. Ooh, more more nails. That was very nice. So, uh, here is it, that one. That's Fix that back up. Uh, I want to get the cobble out of that too. Okay, they're bashing on something somewhere. I better go and find out where they're doing that. Double check the garage first. No. Okay. So let's go back out the front door and see where they are. Because until I get the proper layout, they are going to bash on things sometimes. Oi. What are you doing to my base? I did. Okay, I'm going to go put this lead on so that it can start to get ready in the forge so that I can make some more bullet tips. That's not the way in yet, Tony. Um, feathers. 
Uh, coffee seeds can go in there. I'm not going to use beer, so let's get rid of that. Um, I need to find a decent hat. Oh, that's done already. Turn that off. I need to find a decent helmet to put the mod that I've got in. Just two duct tape. Okay. Do I have any murky water? No. I don't know where any water is, so that's not going to be good. Let's just quickly upgrade some of this while we have the few moments. doing you're still making that let's just get you to make all of those that you can at the moment you'll be able to make a little bit more once you're done oh out of clay that's not good we had a little bit more in here didn't we yes that's going to be our bottleneck now it's going to be clay let's go and get some more of that some more raiding. Maybe Yeah, let's raid the I think this is a fire station. Get some more aloe. You can never have too much aloe. some of this stuff away before I went raiding, but anyway. Good, that's broken down. That means I can... If I can find a wrench, I can pull it apart and get some good stuff out of it. Ooh, good. More. Um, more. 
full of casings. More lead there. Yeah, fire station. stuff there. Oh good, more bullet casings. Not gonna complain about that. That's in the toilet. Some dirty water, good. I need that. Underbus and some ammo, but I don't want to use that. It's crap. Another wrench. Yeah, hey, that's what I was looking for. Scrap that, scrap that, scrap that. And frankly, scrap that and that. Because we ain't going to use them. This is actually quite a good... POI to build a basin as well, actually. That's good, that's a that's a good helmet. At least for this playthrough it is. Um, and I just put the damn mod away that I wanted to put into that. Okay, zombies are bashing on something somewhere. Ooh, 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 ooh. SMG, oh, I don't want the SMG auto turret, I want the shotgun auto turret. But I'll read that, I don't want that. Scrap that, let's eat that. Scrap that, scrap that, scrap that. There's a good. not a zombie coming up those stairs. He might be, but I'll wait until I see him before I worry about him. Wow. Nothing up here. One little cupboard to search. I mean, I can pull all those beds apart, but I don't really 
need that stuff. Back around this way. Uh, well, that's right, you have to access that tower from downstairs somewhere. If I remember rightly, might even be that door there. Someone else still bashing on something somewhere. Are they outside? Did I search that car? Yes. I want to pull that garden apart, get some more stuff there. I could have come this way. always handy. Ooh, very nice, a better pistol. Kits, that's always helpful and that's really good gear too but I can't carry any of it at the moment is there stuff I can scrap first of all that's 39 damage okay so that's way better than my current pistol let's do a repair on that and then let's swap that pistol out which means I better reload it because if I don't we're gonna have trouble what else? I can scrap that. Let's... Oh, damn it, we can only make one aloe cream out of that. That wasn't good. I was hoping to make multiple. 
scrap those pipes then. Um, I don't that's better than what I'm wearing. So the durability is less, but the armor rating is better. Let's repair that. And then let's put that mod back in. Okay. Um, let's get rid of the multi bread. I don't think I need that for the moment. I definitely want to keep that stuff. Let's eat that. And scrap that. Let's actually use that aloe cream. That might make sense. And we can pick up everything out of there now. Okay, let's get out of here. We are carrying way too much stuff, though. But we haven't actually done everything in this building yet. Because... Where is it? How do you get... Hang on a sec. Okay, it is possible to get up into that tower there. And actually get up onto the roof from here. And I don't know why I can't find the way in. I'll come back and do that. I'll drop all this stuff off first. We've got our wrench again. That's the important part. We need more clay, though, but I can dig up some stuff around here, and that's not a big deal. Yeah, I have a barbecue in my backyard too, Ghostface. In this here I'm talking about, not at my actual house. Well, I live in an apartment now and I don't have a backyard. Uh, there is a barbecue downstairs though, communal one for the apartments, but... Uh, right, so let's see. Is there stuff I can dump in here first? Scrap that later. Yes, yes. Uh, yep. Golden rod seed. Actually, let's get that back and let's make. Oh, all we can do is make one more. Okay. We'll wait for that to finish and we'll chuck that in there as well. Come on. Doesn't take that long to make. I guess it does. There we go. Um, I'm going to put that water in there, that and that in there. There's no other food stuff. No. We're going to scrap that sledge. Can't scrap those tools. We're going to scrap. What? I didn't end up wearing them. We're going to scrap those boots, is what we're going to do. We're going to scrap that gun. We're going to keep that iron door. Because that iron door is going to go in that wall over there. 
once we've made that change. So let's put that away, that away. Oh, I had food that had to go in the cupboard. In the oven, actually, but same thing, really. Now, what I do want to do is make some storage chests. I actually want to get rid of that eventually and have two storage chests here and probably some more down in here. Maybe one there, which I can put ammo in. Oh, yes, yes, or maybe even just here would be a good spot for it. So, how many more nails do I have? Why don't I? I've got all my nails on me. Okay, so I can only make two of those. Craft. Very good. Um, you can go in there along with you, 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 and you, and that, and that, and that. Although I was keeping that to make. Yes, we'll keep that. Uh, put you in there for the time being. And you keep that. Put that away. Put that away. Put that away. Keep that. Keep that. Keep that. Keep that. Put that away. Put those away. So, let's put one of them there, and the other one down there. So, what I might just do really quickly... ...is just put all of this in here. I'm going to grab it all back in a minute. What I'm going to do first is everything that's sellable... So that, that, I need to put that on my helmet. Uh, sellable, sellable. That, that, that. Keeping that, selling that, selling that, keeping the rest. Okay, so all sellable stuff is going to go in here. go I can make some more uh, duct tape see what do I normally do with this stuff I normally do that that and that that and that I normally actually put tools down there that I'm going to keep don't I spare tools like that
think I'm going to get rid of this chest. But I am going to put another one out here somewhere. I'm probably going to chuck it on the wall right here. So let's make another one of those. Craft. And what that's going to have is that's going to have ammunition for the turrets. It's going to have that. And then eventually some emergency um, healing supplies and extra ammo and stuff like that. This is all my construction stuff. Stuff I need to make ammo, guns, and like high-end construction stuff. Um, I can put another chest there if I really need it, but I don't know that I will. What did I want to come in here for? I actually don't know. I don't think I really did want to come in here. What I really want is to get all of those bullet tips and casings on the craft. And while that's happening, before the sun completely goes down, hmm, it's not good that we were getting some damage there. I better finish chopping that out though. Um, Dig some more of this up. Here we've got the shovel, there it is. I need more clay. And the soil's not bad either. Not that it's that important, but the clay is the most important thing at the moment. There's actually a little cheat I can do with the clay if I really want. Although I'm not sure if I need a better shovel to do it with. I'll see. When, I, when it turns night time, I'll go inside and I'll try and um, see if the little, little thing works or not. stuff that is. One little raid and I wiped out almost half of my bullets again. There we go. And we ran out of wood. That's alright, we got everything we needed out of that for now.
ammo. Nine mil. Make me another hundred. Thank you very much. We're out of wood, so let's see what we can do about that. Get this tree over here. Not that it's going to have a lot in it. of effort to drink really didn't give me anything. Okay, get this little tree out here. Get these twiggy bushes. a few things in the house tonight. Without too much of a hassle. Yeah.
Okay, we are doing good. Just get this little bit sorted. Uh, do that rest of that from the inside, I think. I just wish I had been able to get some more uh, animal fat to be able to make some more candles. I feel like I'm sort of running low on those. It's not good, but that's okay. I mean, I've probably gone overboard with the two in here. I could probably grab that one and we would still be okay. We've got one there, but we don't have one any in the front part. So for now, I'm going to put one right. Actually, that's not really where I want it. What I want to do is take down that. Oops. Put it right there. Might as well take that down too, a little bit more. And now we better go inside and close the door. So let's grab that and that actually. Yes, that's a good start. down as well. Give me a bit more iron to play with. Damn it. Here comes a zombie. Works well. Unfortunately, I really need to upgrade those blocks out there as quickly as possible. So, we're going to knock this hole out. We're going to upgrade the blocks out there. And we're going to put the door in here. And then in the morning, we'll knock out the other block over there. And put the other door in that way. And then we'll have our new entrance. Need to go and eat something, actually. Let's do that. Let's... Uh, a ration and drink a yucca juice. And we'll scrap that, put that in there. How are you doing? More ammo, very 
good. We're actually out of brass this time, which is strange. Normally it is um, lead that we're, that we're waiting on, but that's okay. Don't want to be carrying those seeds around. Let's put them away. Uh, did we have... What have we got up there? Is that enough to make another yucca juice? I can never remember. Food. Yucca. It is. And then if we have a look in here, we can make more coffee. So let's... Let's do that. I'm not a big fan of coffee, personally. I don't like it all. But we sort of need something to drink in the game, and we haven't found any uh, stuff that we can make the red tea out of. Chrysanthemum? Yeah. No. Whichever one it is. actually have to do much more to finish off making that section of wall. Huge amount of that cobblestone left. Can make more. Damn vulture circling up there. of this, but I've got enough done now that it's reasonably we're out of wood too. Okay, cool. So I'll close that door. We're actually reasonably good out there. I don't think anything's going to attack that wall. It's still going to come this way. So that's good. Um, I mean, we're going to put a ceiling on this section out here at some point just run it across here just fill in this gap um, and that's fine that's easy enough to do I got, I got the frames I just need to get some more wood and we're done um, I could pull down these let me get rid of that laundry basket for a start right now that I no, hang, this is what I was going to do hang on um, let's see about this little trick. So, dirt is made from 16 clay soil blocks. Why am I not splitting this properly? I could split it one by one. I can't remember how to do that. Oh, there it is. And alt. Um, so we say 16. No, it's not alt. It's right. 
quickly. Let's put the rest of that there. Now, if we make a dirt block, right, and then we place the dirt block down somewhere, like that, and then we dig it up. We get 22 dirt out of it. We started with 16. So if you have nothing better to do of a night and you need clay, just make a whole bunch of dirt blocks, put them down somewhere and dig them back up. And you will get back a whole bunch of more clay than you started with. Uh, quite frankly, right now, I don't really feel like doing that. Um, but I did want to confirm that it, it did still work, and it does, at least with, even with the crappiest shovel you can make. Right, now. I do have more wood here. I was trying to, cons to put some aside. Let's make some more cobblestone. How much cobblestone can I make? None, because I put all my stone away. Uh, no, I've got 311 stone. Why? Oh, you need clay as well. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's no good, because I don't have as much clay as I would like to have. So maybe I should make a whole bunch of dirt. I can make 10 dirt with what I've got. Sorry about that. I think I want to go and check. What do I need to make the metal? Just 10 forged iron. I think I have that. 
I have two forged iron. Well, I can make more forged iron. How many more forged iron can I do? Nine. Oh, I only need eight. Uh, it's going to be a little while before day seven, so it won't be in this stream, because if... To get to day seven horde, I will have had to have streamed for seven hours. Um, but I am considering playing this again tomorrow night, so there is that. I haven't checked to see if there's anything up there, you know. Through that hole in the roof. And no, there isn't. But it seemed like a good idea to check. Okay, turn that off. Let's make our second iron door. It's going to take a couple of minutes. While I'm waiting for that, I did say that I was probably going to want to scrap this. Dawn. I wasn't really paying attention to the time there. Do I have enough wood to. I do. There we go. Very good. Has that made my door yet? No, 18 seconds. We shall just wait. Actually, we won't. We'll put that and that and that. And that in here. And there's our second door. Okay. We've got that sound bug where it thinks that's still going, don't we? Oh no, we left this on. Hang on. Uh, turn off. Give me my coffee. There we go. I wish I had more. Lights. The torches produce heat, which can make the zombies appear. Uh, which is why candles are a better option. Like that. Of course, the minute the sun comes up, it's suddenly bright enough that you don't need any of that anymore. It's very interesting how that works. corridor and we can get into our base without having to use this door around here and eventually we're going to actually run the wall over here and over to there so we're going to just wall all of that off and this will just be dead area we won't even use this um, 
right now I need some more wood. So let's head over this way to these groups of trees over here. Ooh, iron. I can mine that later for more iron. I'm going to... Take a drink of coffee. And pull this car apart, which will give us A, more iron, which we need for our turrets, ammo, and B, some fuel and other things that will be useful. so that I can make that drink which is better for us so just need a lot of it that's the problem hello Vera for healing Ooh, nice little grove of yucca here might as well get it all while I can although use the smaller axe and you don't use up too much stamina o'clock in the morning and it's already too hot to be out and about. Um, don't really need water at the moment. We need food though. I should have got some food before I came out. for now. Just grab these odd logs here and there and bushes and stuff. Uh, this heat's not good. Um, more trees that way, but let's head under cover. Oh, actually, let's not. Let's upgrade this. And then upgrade that. Now, this is probably just normal wood as well, really, so we'll upgrade that. really want to be persnickety about it we can paint it all later to make it look better that's all we need to do for now let's upgrade all of this actually did that yes we did get a bit of damage on those bars before when that um, that zombie attacked in the early evening far away that drop is. Let's have a look. Oh, way, 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 way too far away for us to get right now. 
Um, okay. That's actually about all I feel I really have to do. Like, I'm going to upgrade... Where are you? some ammo. There's no more of you around there? No, good. Let's upgrade these few blocks around here as far as we can around the corner. How many? One, two, three, four, five maybe. One, two, three, probably want to upgrade all of these across here as well too even though we've made the wall too thick here so that this is the thick section of wall right here I just want to be doubly certain that they're not going to try and smash through this wall to get to us I mean there is a small chance that they're going to try and smash their way into the house from other directions but they shouldn't. They should be able to detect that the best way to come is through the garage. But I can't be 100% sure that they always will. So over time, I am going to make the effort to secure the boundaries of the house as much as possible. I probably, I may even fill entire rooms with just wooden blocks. Nothing in there. Okay, just get my stamina back and then let's take this tree down because I feel like we need more wood, don't we? Yeah, we do. So we really didn't finish looting. the fire station there. I believe there's still some one little area we missed in there. So we need to go back there. Let me get this tree, I'll get that yucca and this tree here. And we'll go home, unload some stuff, and maybe eat something. up some more yucca juice and then we'll head back into the fire station there hadn't found that bag before but it's just crap scrap that scrap that Okay, that needs repair. Let's do that. Actually, what I did want to do with the wood that I just made is put the ceiling up here, didn't I? Actually, I want to make that section there double thick. Not just that little section there. Actually mean this, that whole bit there. Now, let's 
put the roof in. Actually, it's actually. Oh, damn it. That's in the way. Damn trim. get a little bit of wood for breaking it down. Not much though. If I can get the wood, I'm actually going to make this wall here double thick as well. So I've made this section of wall double thick. If I can make this side wall, at least to here, double thick as well. And I might as well just fill all of that in. Um, that will be extra protection as well because they really won't bash through that. I need to make more wood frames. So let's just do another 30. Not that I need that many, but I do need some more. Thankfully with all this, I don't need to make the ceiling double thick. In fact, I don't even need to reinforce the ceiling here. I mean, technically, vultures could try and brash through it, but I've never seen a vulture detect you when you're inside a structure. So I don't think that's really an issue. And the only way anything's going to try and get through that little section of roof just there is if um, anyway a zombie's going to try and get through this section of roof just here is if it somehow gets up on the roof of the garage which is not really possible. That's our little covered area there. And so we come in here, we close the door behind us. We can now get into our base. But as I said, I will feel much better if this section of wall is too, too thick as well. So do that I can upgrade all of this later to heavier stuff but we now got two thick blocks that way and two thick blocks this way they're not going to break through that or at least they're less likely to um, it won't definitely stop them, but I don't think the first horde will. The first horde will not try that. And what I may end up doing is putting a sloping perimeter wall all around the, the house eventually. Okay, so we come in here. We have our little tunnel. I might as well just... Typical. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I will fill that in later. Not going to worry about it now because what we've got is good enough. I think we could probably survive the day seven horde. Um, there's, I don't know the exact number. The day, the first horde um, is relatively small. So the, I think the maximum you can get in a horde normally well it, i think the game only spawns in a certain number of zombies at a time and i think it's either 8 or 16 is the normal um but you will then get waves and waves of eight zombies at a time for example um normally it starts at 10 p.m so 2200 hours 
and it goes through till 4 a.m. So you end up with, what's that, six hours worth of game time, so about 15 minutes of real time of a zombie horde. But the first horde usually finishes around midnight or 1 a.m. Is If you if you kill them as, as they're coming, um, they usually end then. There, there are lots of things that you can do to just completely ignore the horde. Like, you can build bases... Um, you can build bases underground. Um, you can do a lot of different things to try and negate the horde. I have a lot of times built bases up off the ground. Um, like you could build a base up on top of that, for example, and they can't climb ladders. So there would be no way. Well, they can climb ladders sometimes, but you can set the ladders up in a way that they can't climb them and so you're completely safe up there like they couldn't knock that tower down so if you took that water tower and and just cut off the top of it and built a little base up there you would be perfectly safe and i've built bases before on stilts right and you build a little stairway going up and you can actually put these little hatches in the stairway and um or on the on the walkway and they will not get through them they'll fall through the hatches and it's a really good way to sort of outsmart the zombies but a lot of people there are a lot of people who play the game who say that's the wrong way to to take on a horde you should you should have to fight the horde um, you shouldn't just be able to hide from the horde or cheese the horde in some way um, personally i don't have a problem with with cheesing the horde and I've had bases where I have set that up and I completely ignore the horde because that's the thing the game will only spawn let's say it's eight I'm pretty sure that is the default so let's say the game will only spawn eight zombies so if you don't kill the first eight zombies that appear in the horde then that's it that's the only zombies that are spawned if you don't kill them and they hang around until 4 a.m., you can then come out at 4 a.m. and they're no longer sprinting. They're just casually walking around. And you can kill them. They're not as hard to kill anymore because they're not moving as fast. And you've only had one group of zombies that you've had to worry about. But there are a lot of purists that say that's not the way you should play the game. Um, I don't do that often. I do like to fight the horde most of the time but I can see that there are some people that like the challenge of trying to find a structure that you can build that you can build that defeats the horde that's right you're exactly right if if the, if it was real and you could build a base that that um the zombie couldn't get to everyone would want to come and live in your base you know because as i said before the, the i don't know if you were here when i said it before but i've i've mentioned about this game a lot of times that the real way to fight zombies is not with a gun like all the all the zombie movies shotgun um axe you know you can get sledgehammers in this game you can get baseball bats those are the sorts of things that historically people use in zombie movies to take on the zombie horde, right? But in reality, that's a silly way to do it. Your best option for taking on a zombie horde is a sword and shield. If the idea of the way that you're supposed to kill a zombie is to... to remove its head or destroy its brain right then a sword and shield is the better option in my opinion and the problem with all of these games is is they assume that it's actually fairly easy to maintain a firearm and build new ammunition and i'm certainly no expert on firearms i will readily admit that um, there are any number of people that are experts. Um, but I do know that it's not that easy to create ammunition as what they make here. In fact, this recipe that we use 
in this game of nitrate and coal, yep, technically you could probably make something that was fairly close to gunpowder with those ingredients. The problem is it's black powder. It's not the smokeless gunpowder that is actually used in firearms today. So that black powder is not good for your gun. It produces a lot of residue. It has a lot slower burn time. It is really not good. And even if you could make black powder, the shells, the cartridges that you make today, they have primers on them. You would have to be able to make new primers so that you could then go and... I didn't go and eat before then. That was stupid. I need to go home and eat. Uh-oh. There's a big, big zombie over there. Well, he's easy to kill, but... Um... But yeah, I just think the whole concept that you survive the zombie apocalypse by getting a gun and and that is is actually a terrible way to do it. It wouldn't, it would not really work. Um, there's got to be a way around here somewhere. Did I miss a ladder or something? There has to be a way. To get up to this next section because that you can't get into that little tower section over there i know i've done this poi before and i know i have found the way in and right now i cannot find the way in damn it i didn't mean to fall down like that thankfully i didn't break my leg uh up this way uh, let's drink because we're not doing too good at the moment so there's this here there's nothing there to get you into that section there and there's nothing here to get you into that section there so and that's all Okay, let's do this. Let's pillar up. Oh, there you are. headshots didn't even notice what I picked up then just some just some um, what's her name Ooh, medical pile very nice oh, just some nitrate nothing super spectacular oh there was a hole in the ceiling that I didn't notice. That's how you're supposed to get up here. Right. And there is a thing up there and then you come down. That's right, I remember now. The problem is I've got to make more frames. No, I don't know what that is. Oh, that might be a... That might be meant to be a camera or something, maybe. Okay, and then... Oh, 
that's right. I remember now. Yes, I forgot that hole was there. What is making all that noise? Doesn't matter. Head back home. I have wasted a bit of wood leaving it up there, but that's all right. I can actually go through the house and start knocking down interior walls and stuff like that if I want more wood. Frankly, but I need to get home and get some food. gun out Tony because you've got low stamina you get ambushed right now and you don't have the gun out you're going to die and we don't want that yeah it's always a little bit funny in this game where you look at it and go how did the zombie get into that position right there Get some food. What do we got? Yeah, a lamb. Actually, a couple of these rations will do good. Okay, and we can make some more yucca juice to get something to drink. So let's do that. Let's put that away. Let's grab that. I guess we should make some more clean water while we're at it, but let's do the yucca juice first. Food, yucca, how many can we make? Nine, very good. Let's scrap that. We'll actually put those back there. Oh, we got one more fat. Means one more candle we can make. Uh, where is it? There. Don't know where I want to use that yet. We don't want that. Oh, we've got a battery. Good. Although at the moment it's tempting to use that to make... Um, to get the lead out of it to make more bullet tips. What we will do is we will put that to get more brass. Uh, I won't use the bat. Eh, no, I will use the battery. Level three isn't that great. This level is up to level six. So if I, because I need the lead more than I need the brass at this point. Get rid of that. Um, that can go in here. That can go in here. That. 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 That, that, fuel, uh, what else, that, it's not much sense carrying that around at the moment, or that, although I need to put some more of that in the, fur in the forge, I don't want to carry those two, um, don't need to carry that, Got to put those away, Okay. Um, that's our cell chest. We'll sell that as well. And then we'll come in here. We need to drink still, so let's drink that. That will take care of a lot of our problem. Let's just put half of this stack away. Um... So, what have we got out 
here. We've got that one there. We need another light uh, there. It's not going to be great. I'll probably end up putting one like on the sill there at some point too when I get some more. And I'll need at least one candle in here so we can find our way through. And actually, I want to make another door. Do I have enough wood to make just a plain wooden door at this point? Um, there. Secure wooden door. Craft. We want another one in here because the idea is we need it to be as hard as possible for the zombies to get in here. So even though they can't see it, the zombies, I believe, I believe the, the way the game works, I believe the zombies are able to tell that, yes, there is a path through here with three doors in it, but there's three doors it's got to go through, whereas the path from here into there is easier if they just go through these bars. Sounds weird, but I'm pretty sure that's how the pathing for the zombies works. Um, and so if I can make this as hard as possible for them to get through. Did I close that door over there? I did, good. Then they will try and come through these bars and I can then kill them. That's the way that works. Now, uh, I want to get rid of that and that because I don't need to be carrying those around. Let's put that in there. And I think I have been storing the bones outside. Is there anything else in here? I don't want to carry the coffee with me and I'll put the aloe vera in here for now, but later on we might be getting that back out. Was that another? No. Um, let's put that away. Put that there. Get the bones back over here. So I think we use, yeah, we use those to make glue if we don't find any. Uh, I don't want to be carrying that around. I feel like I need to make Yeah, let's make 400 more junk turret ammo. It's going to take a little while, but that's fine. While that's happening, we do have a little bit of stuff here that we can sell. So let's just do a quick run out to the... the trader because he's so damn close yeah I've done that let's give me some of that give me some of that and that and that wow our stamina really isn't doing that great because it's 45 degrees Oh my god, that is ridiculous. Although I have to say, they're saying it's 45 degrees, and that's fine. But it would be nice for you to tell me what the humidity is, because I can tell you with a certainty, 45 degrees oh, with, whatever. you know, 10%, 20% humidity, it's hot, but you can handle it. 45 degrees with 80% humidity, you want to kill yourself. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Okay, so we have a little bit more money. Um... I feel like I could buy some candles, but I don't know if I really want to. I could just buy animal fat and make them, but they're almost the same price. Ultimately, all I really want is anything to make ammo. 
So if I take all of that, I could take the brass. I mean, I'm going to need more armor at some point, but right now, it's not a big deal. I might take all of that and all of that. It's not a huge amount of, and we'll take all of that as well. Ooh, how much, can I afford all of that? No, I can't. Can I afford 75? No. I can afford 60 rounds of that. Let's see what else there is. Just the stuff I've sold him or then in here. There is, I could get a pistol, Pete. What does that one do? Leg shots cripple, no, not too. I mean, I want, it, I want all of that eventually, but for right now, what I need is the ammo to handle the next, the, the horde. So I think I will buy, what was it? Like 60 rounds of that. I can afford that. That's given me 235 rounds. Pleasure That's not too bad. There's nothing left. That's an empty gun safe. That's fine. Okay, and the other thing to remember is somewhere in here was a chemistry station that I can use. To make my ammo, make my gunpowder better, quicker, easier. Okay. Oh man, my stamina is just so tanked by this heat. You don't always have to be in this heat. By the way, um, this is actually like the desert biome. There is a forest biome. Is that, I'm actually surprised there is many as many trees around in at this place at the moment as there is. Normally in the desert, you don't get many of those trees. So I think there might actually be a forest by uh, like a. It's not really a forest, but there's a much greener biome, and I think it might actually be fairly close. I just don't know which direction it is in yet. Um, how are we going here? You did all of that. Let's do some of that as well. I do need to put some clay in there because I'm not going to be able to do what I want without it. So let's just fill. Let's put that in. Okay, what do we have here? We have a few bullet tips and a little bit of gunpowder. If I try and make... How many casings can we make? 27 only. Damn, I thought I had more brass than that. Okay. Probably able to do more bullet tips. Oh, only 10 at the moment. Well, we got some more lead coming. Oh no, it's the clay is the problem there. Okay, there is more brass. As soon as we get more clay. Still, it's not going to be a hell of a lot of bullet casings. I'm going to zip back out. Let's see if we can't make up or start making up some of this gunpowder.
was right at the end. Okay, gunpowder. One of each. Whereas I think if I try and make gunpowder normally, it's two of each. So I can make double the gunpowder if I do it here. I can still only make 49 because that's all the coal that I've got. Oh, I need to put some wood in there. How much? That's going to need two minutes worth of wood. Pretty sure we explored all of this properly, didn't we? Yeah, we did. And that... Oh yeah, that was usable, that's right. While we're waiting for that gunpowder to craft, we might as well chop down another tree, get a bit more wood. Look at that dusty haze. This game can be very beautiful at times, despite the fact that it's a zombie apocalypse. Just the lighting effects and all that sort of stuff is, is very good at times. Let's see how we're going with our crafting. I really need some hot weather gear in this game. I don't think I'm doing all that well with clothing at the moment. I've got padded armor, plant fiber shirt. Yeah, I've got really terrible gear. I need a trench coat. I can probably make a, um, a bandana that will help. Almost done. No, you can't build in the trader area, and I'll show you why in just a sec. Okay. Listen to this. Do you hear that dinging noise? That tells you that everything here is completely indestructible. So you can't build on it. And at a certain time of the evening, he will kick you out. And you end up just magically teleporting to about here. And same thing in the morning. You can't actually go into the traders before 6am. If you try to, you get to the door and suddenly you'll find yourself teleported back out here. What I have seen people do, though, is find out... There you go. This is the edge right here. And I've seen people build right on the edge of the trader wall. And in fact, there's one YouTuber who dug down and built a moat all the way around the trader. And then on the outside of the moat, he built a little, a really thin, but little uh, tower, basically. Um, well, actually, no. I think what he did was the moat, he had just enough room, he left just enough room outside of the trader zone to build a little tower, and then he built a moat around the outside of that. So he was technically outside of the trader area, but inside the moat. And it meant zombies couldn't get to him. Now... Uh, th this green barrier, this green thing that you see around my house, that's because I've put down a claim block. 
a claim block which says that I claim this area to be my house. Because you can do multiplayer, um, and so you can you can stop people from building inside. It's basically the same as the trader thing. If they try and build inside that area, they will not be able to. Um, but also, no zombies will spawn inside that area. Now, what I probably need to do is because that doesn't go all the way through the backyard of the house. I actually, actually, does that... Hmm. There is technically a very small area inside the back of the house where a zombie could technically spawn. I probably need to do something about that at some point because otherwise, one day I will come home and there will be a zombie already in the very back of my house. Um, unfortunately, I will probably not be able to see where that line goes. Oh, actually, no, I thought I was seeing a glint of green between those boxes there, but I don't think I was. Um, but somewhere around the back of the house here, technically the green line goes through the house. Um, I might be able to see it at night, but I really should keep an eye on it because it means technically zombies could spawn back here. So what I probably need to do is wall up, like take out that door there and wall up that and take out this section, completely wall in that section there so that if there is any zombies spawning in this area back here, they really, you know, they've got to break down the wall, which they can do, but if I, if I turn all that wall into concrete, it will take them forever to get through. Um, the best way to, to defend against that would actually be to fill all this in with blocks. Just basically wipe all, destroy all the furniture in here and then just build, oh look, there's the green line right there. All right, so technically a zombie could spawn right here. And that's about the only place because I don't think they spawn up high. So they couldn't spawn there. I don't think they can spawn in the tub. Technically, this tiny little bit of floor right here. So there's only really two blocks. I could probably just put a line of, of blocks and extend this wall out one space. Maybe two in here. And that would be enough to stop them spawning in my house. They would spawn in the backyard, but I don't have too much of a problem with that. So actually, I had that out. Oh, the front door's open again. Why am I leaving that door open all the time? I've got to stop doing that. Is that locked? No. Why not? Not that it's a matter. They, the, the zombies won't open a door even if it's unlocked. That's unlocked too. Like I said, it doesn't actually matter, but I do like to keep them locked. So let's lock them. There we go. And close that. Now I've got a whole bunch more turret ammo to go up there. And we were still working on this stuff, weren't we? So we can do another 125 bullet tips, but we can't do any more bullet casings because we're out of those. So that means we're only really going to be able to make 43 more bullets. And we left all of the other gunpowder over there. Why do we have two separate? No, we got all of that. Okay. So we aren't, we aren't going to be able to make too much in the way of ammo at the moment. I'm waiting for more bullet tips. Um... Do I have another candle somewhere? I didn't. Really need to get into um, electricity so that I can light my house. Let's let's just move that light. I think. I think I want it in the middle there. That's better. Got enough light in here now to see, that's good. I think, even though we're a couple of hours real time away, 
I think we're actually about as ready as we can be for the first horde. We just need more ammo, really. That's the only thing. Did I leave a torch in there? I did leave a couple of torches in there. Because I think what I want to do... a few things down in the house. What? You mean to tell me I can't break that down? All I do is get metal. That's annoying. I broke down all of that. Don't think I actually need to worry about that. I think there used to be the ability to live in the trader thing, but it's something that they they changed a while back. Um, because yeah, it would it would be pretty OP. There's no doubt about it. Um, let's close that door and let's just put that torch there while we pull apart this fridge. Get a bit more metal. There we go. Mm. I really do think I want to repair this. just repaired that block, but I guess not. Yeah, they're not the same at the moment, but that doesn't really matter. in here and let's take apart the bike and the bed think that what I am going to do for now is upgrade that door and leave it closed. Oh, it won't let me lock it. Okay. I don't need to. You're telling me I can't put blocks in there. 
Okay. Yeah, that's just, it basically tells you that certain, I, I don't know, like there's, there's music like that that goes off whenever it turns um, night time. So at 10 o'clock at night, you hear music like that. Um, but then you also hear it at certain times during the night. And I don't know when, if it's things like when I'm, when certain things spawn in or what, it's a little unclear, but you do hear it a couple of times a night. I don't know if it's always the same thing. There might be people out there who claim to know. I haven't ever read or heard of anyone actually explaining what those different, um, different little musical interludes are actually supposed to mean. I think they might just be there for for atmosphere. There is another one. There is other music that plays at 4 a.m. when it's dawn. Um, and let's just do this one. Not that these these windows are not super important to be repairing or to be to be blocking off a the I probably can just upgrade them like that um, what does that look like yeah I just don't think that has the same durability as a full block um, the other thing the other reason why it's not as important is um, I am going to put another wall as I've said, outside out there. Um, and so that whole section just there, like if I open the door here, all of that area that you see out there is all just going to be enclosed by walls. So having done these two lots of windows here is, is kind of pointless, but I felt I had to do it anyway. Um, I might just get rid of that and fill that space up because I think technically there's only a fairly small bit of wall there outside because there is a dip in the front wall outside that dips in in that section there and I don't want something smashing that little bit and coming in so that is all good so our turrets are ready We've got, we've got sort of sufficient light out here. I'd really have preferred that light to be out there rather than in here, but it does help. Um, do I need that second? I don't really need that second light out here. That, that other candle. So I might. Oh, I need to put that bedroll down too. Because if I get killed, I will need a bedroll. Let's just put this candle here for 30 seconds while I put down the bedroll. Right there. There we go. It's 
So here's the interesting thing. The candle that's on the other side of the wall there and the other side of the wall here does actually provide a little bit of light down that corridor somehow. So we don't really need lights in here. Okay. So that's better lit out there now with the other candle. So that's all good. We've got nothing to sell at this point. My ammo should be done. It's only 43 rounds, but it's better than nothing. So, bullets that we do have. Where am I going? This way. Um, we do have that to put in there, though. And it's very dark in this part of the house. I don't want to be using torches because they create heat and by heat I actually mean there's actually two definitions of heat in this game and um, the zombies can detect the heat of that torch and so they the, if you build if you put a whole bunch of torches around your base the zombies are more likely to come and attack your base but if you use candles or electric lights it doesn't generate the same amount of heat. This is generating heat. Um, so you really shouldn't have, like I shouldn't have that running like that when I'm not using it because that's actually making things just slightly more likely that there's going to be zombies coming. Um, I can put all of that away. Let's just reset this up because come morning, we are going to need go I need more brass is what I really really need well what do you know I've got more brass that radiator will produce a chunk of brass if I turn that on so let's let's do that let's put some more fuel in um, I got these oak seeds. I really should plant some of these trees soon. That way I can get a steady supply of wood. Um, does it take it's like four or six of those? What is it? It's four. Okay, get rid of that then. And I can technically make one more yucca juice. So let's do that. No, why can I not? Oh, it's two yucca fruit. Okay. So, put that in there and put that with it. Put that over there. Put that in there. I really wish I could make my own bandages. These bandages. First aid bandages. Because they're way better than that. Um, I desperately need some more food how bad I was getting. Let's eat that. Oh, I don't think I've... I haven't looked at my levels in ages. Have I got more? I've got three more points to do. Okay. So, I definitely want lock picking. But the problem is... If I spend some more points and get more things in MasterChef, I can cook more food. But sometimes that seems to be a bit of a... A bit of a, a thing where it doesn't seem to, to work all that well because... You end up finding enough food that you don't need. Yeah, Grandma should be the highest, shouldn't it? It should be it should be above Master Chef. The problem here though is is that you spend all of these points to get this so you unlock new recipes, but then you end up finding so much of the 
canned food that you almost never use the other stuff but the other stuff when you make it gives you more more uh, he well, more food back whatever you want to call it it's it's better food to eat the stuff that you can make but there's also always a small chance that you get food poisoning from that too let's take one of the chili as well and then Oh, look, sun comes up, so now it's instantly bright in here. Um, we need to scrap all of that. That should get us pretty good with food, actually. I don't think I'm going to have to worry too much. I need to find a source of water, though, because I am a little concerned about my water situation. Let's... Um, I've got still got one point. <laughs> so many things that are good. I mean, I really would like to get more points in Gunslinger, which means I've got to add points to Agility. But if I want to be able to make the Cement Mixer, I need to put more points into Advanced Engineering. And then, of course, if I want to be able to make a bike or any other sort of transportation, I need points in there. So I think the best place right now is to put a point in there. That will allow me to... Oh, wow. I'm going to go to level 4 to do that? Like, at least I can... When, when I get my next point, I can become a bicycle mechanic and I can maybe make a bike if I don't find something in the meantime. I'm going to pick up these torches for now because the idea is going to be... Do I still need that running? How many bullet casings can I get out of that? 41 more. Um, what don't I need on me? I do need that. I don't really need that if I'm going raiding. I don't need that. I can get by without that, and I don't need that. Man, all that food that I ate that still didn't actually get me to 100%. That's the problem. Let's do a sham. Even that's actually not going to be enough. But it'll do. Scrap that. in there. Okay, how are you doing? In 19 seconds you will have made all of those. Let's grab that and that and let's just make these last few rounds of ammunition. two minutes. I don't need that for the to go raiding. So we'll just leave that there like that. There was nothing else. Oh, I did pick up. Let's put that away. That and that. Double check there's not anything else there I need. No. Oh, hang on. Let's grab that. And then let's make a bandana because that helps with the heat. Uh, actually, can I make any other clothes? There is a leather poncho I can make. You watch. So, oh, I don't have enough leather to make it. Okay. 
I was going to make a leather poncho, and then I was going to say, you watch. I'll go now, and I'll raid somewhere, and I'll find another poncho. And I won't need the leather poncho anymore. Um, how much of that ammo have you done? Almost all of it. You might as well just get the last of it. Okay, let's go have some fun. Although it's probably going to be ridiculously hot out here. Yeah, look at it. Um, so, I think I forgot to put the block out of the front of the fire station to say that I raided it. Yeah, I did forget. Okay. Ooh, we need to repair that. But I'm also pretty sure that technically there was still one thing in here that I wanted to do. Was there a... I seem to remember there being a vending machine somewhere right here. I want to pull this apart because this usually gives you iron ingots. There we go. Oh, steel, even better. There's only one, but Okay, so. I'm out of wood? Oh, man. And that used all of the wood up just to do that. Maybe we'll go through... Where are you? Are you inside the church? Hmm, what do you know? I think I had my... That's embarrassing. I had my earbuds in the wrong way around, so I was, wasn't hearing properly. Yeah, they're in the church. Okay. I'm going to go in there and raid, I think. Because, A, there's some trees in there. Actually, it's not a church. It's a um, cemetery. But I think there's a decent raiding spot. There's an underground area in there, I think. So, let's just put a... so that we know we've we've come in. Oh, and then there's you two. Oh, and you. in here, I need the wood. Okay, I'm 
pretty sure there's a zombie that falls, there's not a zombie that falls down, but, ooh, didn't notice I was out of ammo. So that's those two. I think they're the only two that are in there. Yeah, would have thought I would have heard from the other one if there was more. Splints. Useful? Sometimes. I never have them on me never have them on me when I need them though. All good, some food. I'm gonna eat that straight away. And maybe a bit more to drink, even though I technically don't need it. Okay, it's a coffin down here. I don't want to go all the way down because sometimes with these you go down there and then a zombie spawns right on top of you, which is never fun. Um, read that, scrap that. Oh, we got paper, we don't want that. That can go. want why can't they give me nine mil I just want nine mil I don't want feathers I'm looking for eggs though if I can find them uh, I can sell that to the the uh, trader That's what I like to see. Where is it? There it is. Nothing in that one. Okay. This goes down. And there is stuff down here. So. The problem is. Is it looks like. I'm running low on space. I don't want one sand. Two cloth fragments don't do me much good, and I don't need that. I'm gonna throw away that yucca for the moment, and we'll keep the rest. Not sure if that zombie I hear beating on things is outside the wall. Yeah, he is, he's just over there somewhere. Or is he downstairs? I don't think he's downstairs. Yeah, he might be. I can never remember how many zombies are in this area. I don't do it often enough. I know they come from, they come through these things. that guy. Nothing there. Pretty sure there's someone behind that. I don't think there's anything up there. Can I get to this coffin? Yeah. There we go. Oh no, I didn't get you. Now we got you. I 
still hear something banging away out there. Janitor's cart, just some wood. Silly me forgetting to reload. Getting all cocky the way I'm shooting at the moment. And they end up forgetting to reload and get hit. Thankfully didn't do much damage. Oh, that is really good. Steel armor schematic. Great, I can make steel armor now. done that and I need that because that gives me coal someone's going to town out there I don't know, this this thing always, like this light, or usually lights point at things that are important. Unless it's this spot here, but I've tried numerous times to, to dig through this wall and see if there was anything back there, and there never is. So I don't know what that light is actually pointing towards. But normally lights like that are supposed to be telling you where the interesting thing is things are. I reckon there's a wandering horde out there at the moment. All that banging I can hear going on. point I said I was going to spend on Goodies Monkey, I can now make a bicycle. Yay. Crossbows are nice. 
but uh, I'm not using them, so. Oh, I've got no space. Uh, scrap that. Scrap that, scrap that. Scrap that, scrap that. Scrap that, take those. Can I take that as well? stuff I don't want. So I'm going to scrap the iron crossbow. I'm going to scrap the bolts because I don't need them. I am going to wear that leather chest armor even though it's not what I want ultimately. I'm going to take that. I'm going to scrap. Oh, I can't scrap that yet. Let's just take all of that for now. Um, and let's head out. Man, I can still hear something just thumping away out there, bashing on something. We can search that trash can. Oh, and I don't have the room for all of it anyway. Uh, don't want pumpkin seeds. Don't really want that that I just picked up anyway either, but yeah, I'm a loot goblin. Um. Oh, it's going to take forever to. Oh, that. Oh, I see what's happening. That wants to scrap that, but it can't because there's no free space for it to actually scrap it to. Let's drop that. Need to scrap that as well. Um, we can scrap that. Let's scrap that. And that. And that. Oh, no. No room in our queue to scrap the last one. Let's get out of here. Yeah, you can sell the AK, but I tend to find, unless it's maybe the higher level AKs, because they each have a level. So, for example, that's a level two pistol. Um, that was only a level one AK, I think. Maybe if it's a level six, which is the highest level, it might sell for more. But generally, I find that the parts sell for more than the weapon does. So I tend to scrap them instead. Yeah, zombies been bashing at the wall here and here and over there. Um, gonna scrap the knife. What else? I'm scrapping that. I mean, ultimately, I'm going to scrap all that ammo as well, because I can't, well, I don't want to use it. 
in this playthrough. I can use it. There's nothing stopping me except the conditions that I myself have imposed on my playthrough. Where is this idiot out here who's banging on the wall? Hey, an egg. Thank you. I need two to make some bacon and eggs. It was you, wasn't it? You were the one banging on the wall making all the ruckus? I can scrap. I'll do the ammo when I get home. Don't want that. I don't really want the golden rod. Yeah, we'll just head home with all of this. So let's see, that's going to get sold, that's going to get sold, as is that, 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 um, that, what else, that, probably keep the small tank, let's put that ammo in there. Then we've already got one of those wire tools, so we don't need a second one, so that can go in there. That mod can go there. That goes there, that. Oh, I'm too leather short from making a poncho. It's not good. Oh, I can make another box if I need to. Um, just going to scrap that, I think. Put that in there. Keep that on me. Keep that on me. Put that in there. That in there. That in there. That. That. Why am I carrying... Gunpowder. Okay, healing. That eventually will be healing. That's healing. scrap this I'm pretty sure if I scrap this ammo it makes brass okay that's cool it's not the best but 
is useful. Don't need to carry that with me. Uh, don't want to carry that with me. Rest is good. Um, Two duct tape, five forged iron are the hard things there. So we've got two duct tape. I need four more forged iron. So let's okay. The handlebars. We need another two duct tape. We're gonna need that, we're gonna need that, we're gonna need that, we're gonna need that. Can't remember if I need that. And then to make the wheels, I need four more forged iron, coal and acid. So coal acid polymers and another four. So let's start the wheels first. Let's make what am I missing? The coal. I'm gonna use up pretty much all of my coal to make these wheels. make the handlebars and then turn that off we can make the chassis uh, where is that put that down there okay how long is that going to be Two and a half minutes. Is there anything I can do nearby in two and a half minutes? Not really. I know. I guess the other thing I could do while that's working away is sell all of this junk. So let's go and do that. Prices are fair here. Okay. So let's see now. What have you got that I want? Or even all of that. 
Man, that's a pain. Fifty-five, hey. Pleasure doing business with you. We now have the bicycle. Yay! Although it's probably too late in the day to really do much with it. What I do want to do is it has a small carrying capacity. So. stored on the bike as emergency healing supplies. Um, I really don't feel like there's anything I can do tonight to get any more ready for the horde. I need more wood, I need more ammunition. That's the biggest concern I have about the Horde, is not enough ammo. That's more lead, that's nice, but I really need coal. I don't see any. What's this building? Oh, this is this little building. Very, very nice. Let's do a quick and cheeky raid of this. We're going to get a lot of fuel. Don't accidentally shoot the barrels, Tony. They will explode in your face. Okay. Come back and do those piles. Let's do this. Go on, get up. Okay, that's 
so we'll stop our one up there. Done that pile of garbage. This pile of garbage here, nothing in it. Cement here. Scrap it, scrap that, scrap that, and scrap that. And that's going to be sold. Is that the other fire station? It is. Two fire stations practically next door to each other. It's actually quite a nice house to um, to raid as well. I'll do that later. Oh, what did I forget to do? I mean, technically, I haven't finished raiding this place because I can dig out that all of that dirt there which is sand and I can break down those to get stone oh look and there's a, a zombie wandering around over there but I'm going to mark this as completed come on then okay Ghostface I'm actually considering stopping in a little bit anyway, I don't think I can make it all the way through to the Horde, so I'll probably be doing the Horde tomorrow night. So you have a good one, and um, I'll see you later. I think 
I'm just going to break down this one car here. And then go home. Scrap that. Is there anything to sell? We can sell that, 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 that. Um, that's all the stuff we're gonna sash. Yeah, no, that's all the stuff we're gonna sell. There wasn't anything to go in there. So in here, basically put all of this stuff. down there. Uh, that, that, keep those on me for now. That paintbrush, keep that on me. Okay, I'm going to leave it here, everybody. Um, that is a super long stream for me, six, nearly six and a half hours. But uh, I'm going to come back tomorrow and we are going to go into day seven and do the horde. Um, I don't have a huge amount of ammo. I have a fair bit of um, ammo for the turrets. I think I've got enough. I mean, I can make some more turret ammo as well because I've got, uh, where is it? I've got a bunch more iron in here somewhere. Uh, right there, 800 more. So I can make some more there. We're doing okay in this playthrough. I feel like I'm a little bit low on food. Um, I could make, like I could boil up some meat. I need to find a decent source of water too. Although there is the, what am I talking about? There is the damn, um, water tower just outside 
So I should I should just go and get a bunch of water from there. Um, but yeah, we're doing all right. We've got a bike now, so we're a little bit more mobile. We can go a little bit further to uh, to go and raid. But tomorrow we'll be just prioritizing being ready for the horde. So I'm probably just going to make probably going to find some sources of iron and make up a bunch more turret ammo uh, because I really don't have the ability to make up too much more pistol ammo at this point. Um, and yeah, maybe it might be worthwhile trying to see if I can get enough uh, forged iron done to turn that front row of or maybe even the back row leave the front row as wood but turn these into iron bars rather than wooden bars because that's going to have to help us we can break this down for some resources um, so yeah that's going to be the stream for tomorrow so I hope you had hope you enjoyed this um, I'm finding it fun it's a nice little playthrough at the moment so I will catch you next time. Thanks for joining me and have fun. Bye.